Oh, I was leveling. I was I was leveling my uh, botanist. Is there any other way to level besides doing leave meats and uh, these things? What is it called? Del deliveries? I can't do collectibles yet. <clears throat> um, Because this is great, but holy cow does it get so boring. You're not boring, but just... I can't do it for very long because I guess I just get so antsy. I don't know. But I guess that's the only thing besides like going out in the wild. Yeah, you're not doing these. How, how, what are you doing then? I'm just doing pre crafts for collectibles. What is that? And crafting collectibles themselves. Yes, it does, aim scheme. It goes up to 70 now. All right, well, anyways, I was working on that. What else did I do off stream? Oh, oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. I finished all of the green aether currents, and I totally finished Kazamakuka. I finished this area. I can't finish this one yet because these are locked behind main story quests, I think. But look at that. <laughs> it's not... It's not all of them, but it's something. Alright, let's continue. Go back to Warlow's Echo. Let's go back and figure out what's going on with Valley Garmanda. I forgot, like, listen, listen. It's like the intense music. Wait, can y'all hear it okay? Hi, good morning, War. How are you? I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Let me know if that's too loud. Okay, let's go. Valley Garmanda has escaped, huh? Something happened. Yeah, look, look at all of them. What happened to you? What in the world happened? We'll find out. They're not gonna tell me. <clears throat> All right, an echo of madness. If you are ready, there are many injured here who need aid. Should you find anyone passed out from their wounds, I ask that you alert me to them. Otherwise, I shall be tending to whomever requires the most urgent healing. We can gather here once we've seen to these people's hurts. Intense moment. Oh, oh, we have to go heal people first. All right, all right, fine. All right, let's go heal these people first. Are you okay, Yorgarwar? You, the third promise's protector. Everything was bathed in bright red. A searing heat enveloped my entire body. I couldn't move. That's odd. What the heck? Okay. Bal ba blue. What's his name? Bajul. Bagul. Not cool, Jaja. He. Uh, could he do that? Could he do this? Is he the reason why this is a thing? Or this is happening? Hopefully not. Not cool, Jaja. Oh, what? Oh, over here. Oh no, this guy is really struggling. Zuberlur? Ah! My wounds are nothing serious, but this dryness in my throat, it's as if... All the moisture has left my body. Okay. Interesting. Guy needs some water. Hydration check. You made a falafel character? <laughs> my lalafel? Yes. I've always played a lalafel. Oh, wait. Always? They all yeah, I always played a lalafel. Hey, <laughs> not me, them. Zephalar. Everything burns. The touch of cloth is agony. Yet I will live. Leave me. There are others in more dire need of help. This poor guy has got like serious burns. Oh look, there's Urian J and and Cred. Kona. Kona, what's going on? Look at that guy. He's like water. <laughs> 
fire ether pervades the entire village. What happened here? Wait, can I? Oh, I, I can talk to them. Many of the villagers sustained burns, but the fire found no purchase in these stone buildings. A small mercy. Well, even if fire were to touch, they wouldn't do anything, right? It's just fire. It's not like it's made out of straw. Though Valley God Armanda's escape is of dire concern, we must tend, we must needs tend to those caught in the conflagration. Caught, what is the conflagration? Whatever, whatever he said. Hydration checks for everyone. All right. Now that everybody has been tended to, though I did nothing, <laughs> they're all like, just go somewhere else, I'm okay. Okay, well, I did. Ooh, it's nighttime. Makes it even scarier. I've done all I can for now. The injured you found were awake and alert then? Yep. That is well. We've left the injured as comfortable as we could. Many were suffering from burns to a greater or lesser degree. Did a fire sweep through the village? Yeah, right? That's so weird. What happened? The details are unclear. Once I've healed the giant attacked by that mountain bird, the group's leader, Vorpolor, I believe they called him, bade me depart. It was then that I felt an intense wave of ether and returned to find Warlord's Echo in this state. Huh. I rushed over to the first giant I saw. Though delirious with pain, delirious with pain, he repeated the same warning. Valley Garmada had broken free. Thus did I contact you with all haste. Well, we're going to need more information than that before we can deal with the situation. Yes, we should speak with the Temple Guard and see what's become of Sky Ruins Prison. Oh, so the fire probably melted the ice that he was encapsulated in. But like, why would somebody do that? Unless this is all part of the plan. The High Luminary grants you entry and awaits you within. Okay. Okay. What happened? Oh yeah, look, it's empty. So it's true. The ice has failed. Sure, Murwar. Tell them what you told me. A short while ago, a claimant paid us a visit. Oh crap, is it really Bakul that did this? <clears throat> oh. Yay, flashback! Oh wait, his memory actually. <laughs> Look! Who enters this hall? It is. Uh... Hi, Vic. Ah, a claimant. <laughs> and here we have the mighty Valigarmata. A terrifying vitral. With every awakening, it has sealed its ruinous name into the memories of a new generation. <laughs> what a good little terror. A good little terror? Excuse me. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you stayed napping right up until the day I needed you. Oh crap, it really was him. What did he do though? Explain yourself. Oh, it is as they say. Kulul Jaja caused its magic to run rampant. 
trapping it in a frozen prison of its own creation. Clever. Well, to unmake it, it would be quite tricky. Two spells must be cast at the exact same moment. A conflagration intense enough to melt the ice, and awakening flame to rekindle the slumbering Vitral's soul. The only ones capable of such harmonious execution would be the heads of reason and resolve. And the blessed siblings, Bakul Jaja. Oh god. They need more guards. The fact that they only had one guy here. Dang. Rise and rage, little terror. Did he did they think they could control it or something? This is so stupid. Oh god. Cool, ja -ja. <laughs> Wreak havoc, Valigarmanda. Live up to your legend. Oh, is he thinking of like I'll slay the beast and then I'll be king or er, ruler? Dang. Wow. What a scumbag. A messenger to Tuli Yolol has been dispatched. The Lands Guard will send a contingent. So I'm guessing I'm sure that'll be a trial. <laughs> but there is no telling when they will arrive. How fun. Idiot! This monstrous act is a step too far even for him. So, what's the plan? Uh, we kill it. If we leave the Vidral <laughs> to others, it will be a massacre. Some might call it the wiser choice, if I don't want to fall behind the competition. But I could never live with myself. And my supporters deserve a better ruler. So that's that. I will stay and fight Vali Yarmanda. This is an enemy so powerful that even my father failed to slay it. Alone, I don't stand a chance. You have me! I understand you've no obligation to aid me outside the right of succession. What? Girl, we're gonna help you no matter what. What is this? What is this? But for the sake of Urko Pacha and its people, I beg you, join me in this battle. Cool, wait, am I- wait, am I gonna- are we gonna do the battle right now? I guess. We don't need to get prepared for it. <laughs> As if you had to ask. Cute. <laughs> Hi, Jai. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Far be it from us to abandon a dear comrade in her time of need. Right? Not even dear just for her. <laughs> I have to say. It does have a comforting ring to it. That's cute. <laughs> Knowing someone has your back makes it easier to do what you have to do. This story is so wholesome.
So wholesome, guys. Ooh, he smiled. And what will we do? Of course, what? <laughs> One committed to winning the contest above all else would we'll race on ahead. <gasps> That's what the other one did, didn't he? Or is he coming? Did he already come here? I can't remember. Wait, are they leaving? If you resolve to slay Vali Karmanta, we'll need to find out where the beast went. Oh, there we go. Hi, XPS. Good morning. That's what we have you for, old friend. We need to get some more guards. <laughs> there was only one guard guarding Valley Garmanda. Like, come on. <laughs> I guess they didn't. They didn't see a claimant. Well, technically, wait. No, there was three guards out front. But since he was a claimant, they didn't expect him to do something as stupid as that. All right. Let's go find the spicy noodle. Wait, he can do fire, ice, and lightning, right? <laughs> so, Aaronville, any ideas on how we can track Valley Garmanda? The tried and true method of comparing sightings with other signs of passage is the most reliable, but also the most time-consuming. There is a second option, not as reliable as the first, but if we're lucky, it will let us ascertain the Sky Ruins' whereabouts far more quickly. Though a Tural Vidral of extraordinary nature, Valley Garmanda is still a creature of this world. Like you and me, it is thus sustained by corporeal energy and possesses a unique ethereal balance, which means this device should come in handy. What device? Oh. <laughs> what? A floating hand? <laughs> now is not the time to be playing with toys. It's my minion. <laughs> this is no toy. It's an eth ether seeker, as the name suggests. Gleaners use it to detect the ether of living beings. <laughs> and you've had this in your pack this whole time? I can calibrate it to follow a specific ethereal a aspect. The problem with Valor Garmanda, however, is that it can shift freely between the elements of fire, ice, or lightning. Right. Well, we know that in order to awaken Valor Garmanda from its icy imprisonment, Bakul Jaja casts spells which quicken its fire aspect in ether. And the residents here were uniformly afflicted by burns. Therefore, the logical conclusion is that upon breaking free, Valley Garmanda unleashed a great fiery blast. Okay, so it did that. Did, that was the thing that hurt him. It didn't look like it went outside the room, though. I got confused. Hi, Sherb. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for following for so long. Then the choice is plain: fire. The seeker, however, is not without its faults, as we were not able to input our quarry's unique etheric etheric signature in advance the device will respond to any living source of fire aspect in ether so we have the reliable yet slow method of information gathering versus a potentially swift but easily misled leaner tool i say why not pursue both methods at the same time good idea we'll have the first to fall back on if the second fails you travel with me then miss in case the seeker leads me to some other fiery fiend Cool. So we're off to go find Valley Garmanda. The rest of us can stay behind and talk to eyewitnesses. The more Sky Ruin sightings we can compare, the more accurate our information will be. If no one has any objections, I shall remain here in the village and tend to the Yaqui. 
Very few are seriously injured, but I am wary of wounds inflicted by a creature like Valet Garmanda. I should like to be close at hand should their condition suddenly worsen. Alpha no being a cutie. Right, it sounds like we all have work to do. Let's go find the snake. The flying snake. Do you have a functioning printer? I do. Do you need to print something? But let me uh, actually hold that thought, Todd. <laughs> I don't think I have ink in my printer. Like, I think I have color ink. I don't think I have black ink, though, which is obviously the most important. We should be on our way as well. I think it just needs to be refilled, though. Maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't printed something in a while. Pointing the way, literally. We'll head to the outskirts of the village first, then set the seeker to detect fire aspect at ether. Let's go! Come here, little alpaca! Oh, it's pointing that way. Right, the seeker is ready to go. Warlord's Echo is still suffused with the Sky Ruins residual ether, so I've excluded it from the search area to prevent it from swamping the sensors. Let's begin tracking, shall we? Once you choose to depart, Aaronville will accompany you. The Ether Seeker will then begin leading you onwards. Follow the Ether Seeker to its destination without falling behind. If you leave Aaronville to for any reason or lose sight, the Ether Seeker, uh, you may try again by restarting at the starting point. Okay. Follow. Affirmative tracking nearest source of fire aspect at Ether. What is it? Why is it like this? <laughs> It's like the Spongebob meme. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Alright. Follow the pointer! Where the heck are you going? Onwards, my finger pointing friend. Oh. oh no, that thing. That's not what we need. It got distracted. Not quite the legendary creature we were after. Not quite. I think they do that with a lot of robotic talking things. Okay, <laughs> it looks funny though. <laughs> Would you mind dealing with that fire sprite? It will continue to confuse the seeker if we leave it be. All right, come here, Mr. Fire. Got bigger. measure I'm afraid let's try this again affirmative tracking near a source of the fire expected ether hard for me to sound robotic I like that it stays on the road <laughs> 
How nice. Oh no, there's something fiery over here. Is that a worm? What is that? The heck are those? Yep, see? It got distracted again. Gosh darn this thing. Are those? Oh, it's the he it's the head thing in the hands, right? I forgot what those are. This cannot continue. <laughs> Frightening enough, but again, not what we were looking for. That thing is pretty scary. <laughs> if we saw that in the wild, if you would be so kind. Would the Valley Garmondo be this close to the town, though? I feel like it would fly away so far away. Like if I was captured, like I, the, I would want to go as far away as I possibly could. I should probably summon my chocobo to help me fight. Uh, how do we change the chocobo's color again? I've been wanting to dye my chocobo a different color, but I forgot how to do it. So, let's see. Where is... I think my... Yeah, here. Grishel greens. There we go. Look how cute my cho chocobo is. <laughs> you feed it certain things while it's in the stable, right? Is that how you do it? It's been a while. I'm at this part, it's exciting. <gasps> You're at the same part as me? If I was a great beast that'd be sealed for ages, I'd be freaking starving, I'd eat some people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair. My things, I, they did say they were, they were gonna warn the Paloo people, so maybe that's where he's off to. My things, I'd ask if I, if it gave you any trouble, but considering who I'm talking to. Seeker, resume tracking and do not point out something, and do try to point out something useful this time. Affirmative, resuming tracking. I'm gonna eat some people. <laughs> Hi, Kuru. Hello. Oh no, not another one. Wait, there's so many in this area, though. Oh, it's going this way. Oh no, it's going to like this area. Oh. Shoot. These, these were already here, though. He roasted them with fire to let them cook a bit first. Rhea! Ah, <laughs> uh, another remnant of Valley Garmanda's last rampage. The crater flames registered to the seeker as corporeal ether. Of course it did. In the words of the Tuliola Saga, when Valley Garmanda rages out of control, its fire burns forever, its ice does not thaw, and its lightning crackles without cease. Thus was the Dawn Servant able to turn the Sky Ruin's perpetual, perpetual magic against itself, trapping it within an unmelting prison of ice. This is no mundane fire, but some kind of everlasting sorcery. Once again, it is a strange feeling to see fanciful poetry proven true. The important thing is that the fire was classified as living ether. We can feed a sample into the seeker and greatly improve its accuracy. One moment. Gotcha. Gotta think like the beast to find the beast. <laughs> <gasps> Treasure map. Wait, can I even do it though, Vic? Wait, maybe if it's not in his new zone, right? <laughs> Well, maybe I'll get maybe I'll I'll get a new zone today, so my odds are increased. <laughs> there now the seeker should ignore my etheric signature, but Valley Garmandas. Ignore.
ignore any, oh, any etheric signature but Valley Mark Garmanas. Had I realized this was possible from the start, then you needn't have fought those creatures at all. My apologies. It seems I still have to learn for, from this journey as a gleaner and as a guide. Fine, my dude. Wait, what did it give me? Maple teriyaki. Mm, I'll eat it. Well, actually, I'll wait until I have to fight something. The sky ruin. This time, the seeker should be attracted solely to Valley Garmanda's ether. Resume tracking based on the latest sample. Affirmative. Resuming tracking. Sample ethereal signature detected. Engaging accelerated pursuit mode. What? Accelerated? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess it. <laughs> Woo! All right. Uh. Oh wait, I keep forgetting I finally assigned my mount to a hotkey, so I don't have to keep clicking that anymore. <laughs> Whee! The Pelu, oh my god, we're really close to the Pelu Pelu area. Be careful. Well, are we? Oh, maybe we are. It's down below. It's a perfect feeding ground. Whee! Oh, it pointed to this. Good. The seeker was drawn directly to the Sky Ruins fire. Now we know we've set the correct parameters for its ethereal aspect. I'll try increasing the threshold for etheric concentration. That should direct us to the Tural Vidral itself. Recalibrating sensors, resuming tracking. It's going this way. Okay. Just a little sightseeing. Some creepy trees. How do I get up there? There you go. These aren't new, are they? Eh! Okay. <laughs> I'm a little too short. Oh, it's going in here. Cave. Wait, is it is it gonna destroy the murals? I hope not. I think we've noticed that Valerie Gramana was inside this passage. Let's head through the, to the other side. Oh boy. Oh gosh. This area is so pretty. I saw it yesterday and I was like, wow, a lake. <laughs> Made it. Oh no, it's spinning. The trail ends here, it seems. Uh oh. That means it's here. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for ads to be done. How are you guys doing? How's your Monday going? Oh, hold on. How's y'all's Monday going? Anything fun happening this this rootin' tootin' Monday? <laughs> I want that capybara, darn it. I can only do I can only get that capybara mount if I unlock the last area, right? I'm assuming that's where the boss fate is. Cause I know you get it from a boss fate, but I don't know where the boss fate is. I'm assuming it's a place I haven't gotten yet. Um. Hmm. Good morning, Nick. Hello. How are you today? Good morning. It's the fourth area. 
Oh, fourth area. Hmm. But not last area. And there's six areas, right? Maybe I'll get to the fourth area today. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. All right, the trail ends here. Right. Okay. Could Valikarmanta have shifted its elemental aspect? It does have three to choose from, after all. Oh, no. In any case, I'm almost certain the withdrawal was headed in the direction of Warcor Lardor. Where? We should let the others know we have a likely location. Ooh, I'm excited. Am I gonna... Is it ti is time? How many trials are usually in expansions too, right? Alphano is assisting the Yokhoi with their evacuation. He thought they could use a healing hand with the injured. So where is Varigarmanda? Warthor Lardor. Its stratified layers contain a wealth of crystals, said to be the source of its many colored glow. Oh. After 80 years of imprisonment, the Vedral will be in dire need of sustenance. It would have been drawn to the mountain's energies. You are so right, Rhea. Commander Rhea. seeks to replenish its ether. Then we'd better not give it the chance. Yeah. Stop. Oh. Uh-oh. That mountain is sacred ground. I forbid you to set foot on it. Are you kidding? Valley Garmond is there, bro. Sorry, we... It is not our intention to trespass. She's way too nice. I'd be like, sit down. Tall guy. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I'd be terrified. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Breen. There's another one in the last zone to get an outfit. Right. But you must understand, cool. that's where Valiyarmanda has gone. If we don't slay it now, it will slaughter countless innocents. Just like in the old days, I beg you, permit us to enter. Out of the question. Bro. Your band is incapable we can outrun of him. defeating Valiyarmanda. Either you seek to defile Warcor Lara Dor, or you are fools. If you doubt their chances, how would you feel were we to join them? Ooh. The monument to Valigarmanda's defeat bears the names of seven heroes. With our forces combined, we also number seven. Yeah. <laughs> Throw yos at him. <laughs> weaklings are no less doomed than four. Why don't you join us then? Oh, whoa, wait, he's here? Zorolcha, you've come to help as well. Against my sound advice. While the rest of you were tussling with this sky ruin, we might have secured an insurmountable lead. This guy, man. Worst advisor. A minor delay. It will not change the contest's outcome. A minor delay in Valley Garmondo? My father was unable to kill. With both my brothers here, this battle is all but won. Your celebration is premature. I never said I would let you pass. Oh, shoot. Brother, no! We do not bear arms against our own people! What an True. odd thing to say. As I recall, the inhabitants of Chirwagur Sultan do not consider themselves members of the Tuliolal nation. The what? 
Inhabitants of the what? Is that where we were I located? I thought call them our own people. Dang. What does that matter? Members or not, everyone in Tural is part of our dream for peace. Yeah, you tell them. Walk if them. you would hurt them, then you'll have to go through me. <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> Hi, dark side. She, she saved me from the mountain bird. Now, then, the same eyes, eyes of stone, words of stone. We impress that guy. We are still in her debt. This is true. Consider the debt repaid. It's a weird but way. Do not misunderstand. We do not submit. To Tully Yolan rule. Aye, you've made your point. We can talk more once the contest is over. I ask your name. Wuklamat, protector of peace and soon to be done servant. Take your time. Valley Garmonda is having a feast right now. Even people with wildly different ideals can find understanding through earnest discussion. I believe that, wholeheartedly. As do I. I won't give up until we reach a compromise. Hugh. Uh, assuming you survive, my old bones and I will be waiting here for the true heir's return. What a pansy! He's not gonna help fight! Your thoughts have always been a mystery to me, brother. But I'm relieved to see you put aside the contest for the sake of the greater good. Yeah. Our nation is a fortress, and its people the bricks with which it is built. The more that are lost or broken, the weaker Tuli Yolal becomes. Okay. One way to see it, I guess. Even the crudest rock has value as a stepping stone. Come on, you two. Forget about the right of succession for now and help me fight this overgrown snake bird. I don't care how strong the sky ruin may be. We're going to put this menace down for good. Dungeon or is this a trial? Yeah, this trial. Okay, okay. Just checking. <laughs> For a second, I was like, uh. Okay. All right. Who would like to come fight the spicy noodle? Vix. Okay. Um. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough people, so we're gonna have to play with random people, and that's okay if they spoil it. It's fine. It's whatever. I cannot remember any of its mechanics and I've only done it once. It's fine. First trial. Yeah, first trial. Is there anybody else I would like to go? Where is that Finn? Is he still asleep? Let me message him. Oh, never mind. You're, you're awake. <laughs> you're here. <laughs> never mind. Oh, I have to invite you this way. 
Um. Is this hard? Everybody's been saying the dungeons have been a lot harder. I thought they were fine. Maybe they're talking about the later dungeons. I mean, I mean, I've died, <laughs> so they're hard. But okay, did Todd want to go? He's probably busy. There's one specific dungeon later that's interesting. Okay. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Todd, or can't come because you're busy. Just, I just thought I'd ask. Ooh, this is the door? Cool. I could do this trial with them. <laughs> Go without me? Okay, all right. I think we're good then. Let's go! Is everybody ready? Let's go! Ooh, how exciting! Let's go! Sona, did you wanna come? I think we might be full, but I'm sorry. I should have asked you to. My bad. What level are you? You're 98! <laughs> hey, me too! I'm level 98 as well! Would you look at that? But I'm doing this, <laughs> which is level 93. I think it's level 93. Yay! Time to find Valley Garmanda! Ooh, rainbow! Bacolador. Sorry if we die. Ooh, look at it. Oh no, it's just not. It's getting all the ether. Ooh, look at its fancy hat. What the? What the? What is the squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's funny. Um, alright. Oh look, I, I finally fixed my thing. You did too, Evan, I just noticed. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do a little shield on everyone. Tempest wind surrounds Valley Garmanda. Okay, where am I gonna be shot? Oh, okay. Alright. Wait. Rhea, that's you? <laughs> okay, gather the extreme. Okay, let's back up. Okay, alright. Good, good, okay. Alright, alright. Alright. I don't know. I. Oh god. Alright. Wide open beak. Okay, everybody's moving. No! Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened to the other guy? Did he fall off? I got the other one, Vic. Oh, wow. I stand it. I stood in the perfect zone. Holy cow. I can't keep up. Oh, God. Ruin. What is that? Is that a tornado in a bottle? Whoa, what was that? I can't see. I'm gonna stand over here. Whoa, what is. Okay. Oh, it lifts you up so you don't get hit. Okay, cool. How do I. Tail of feathers. Oh, okay. Alright. It's dropping its feathers. I guess we have to stay away from the feathers. Bolt of lightning falls upon the battlefield. Okay. Wait.
Wait, Vic, you had something on you. Did you just dodge? Oh, what is that? Um, let's stand right here. Disaster zone. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, those are towers. Supposed to stand in the towers more. Sorry. Um, I'll get the other guy. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> Doing these for the first time is always so fun. Oh no. Ice! Oh, it's snow, it's snow, it's snow. Rumbling avalanche. Oh god, to the southeast. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Whoa! Oh, I should've zoomed out there. Oh! This, you, uh, don't, don't move! Don't, no, keep moving. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting what those are! Oh no, ice boulder! Get them out! Oh no, southeast. Oh no! Okay. Whoa, that's cool! Going on. Oh shoot, that's what's happening. Ow. What is this? Trauma? <laughs> okay. Uh, what, is, what the heck is that? Okay. Told. Okay. Wait. Oh god. Oh, we have to fight this beacon. Okay, fight the beacon. Okay. Alright, beacon has been fought. Fight the other one now. Oh wait, y'all, oh, we're supposed to go over there. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Truly disaster. Fantastic. Lightning and wind, everything. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Corruption. Man, how many things? Is one do oh shoot what is he doing oh shoot <laughs> okay this is fun God. Oh, this changes the stage so that we can get up in the air. Yeah. Love that for us. Okay. We'll stand. Oh, up, up here though. There we go. At first, you're like, how the heck do we dodge that? Then you're like, oh, okay. Let's get up. Alright, hail of feathers next. does a lot of damage. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, uh, oh, on the ground, I guess? Oh, shoot. Um, ow. 
I didn't do that right, did I? I took way too much damage. Circle, you need to stay in the middle. <laughs> Keep, I don't didn't realize. Uh, okay. All right. How I don't understand this at all. I don't understand this. Oh my god. Oh no! Both our tanks fell. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Oh, God. They're fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're good, they're good. <laughs> okay, we're good. We just gotta go over here. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, I'm frozen! No, I got ice bouldered. Let me out. Let me out, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, no! <laughs> no, I couldn't heal myself fast enough. I'm so sorry, Vix. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I... Oh, no. I'm not good. I'm not good. I moved. Oh, no. I thought I would survive too. I wasn't fast enough. Darn it. I'm so sorry, Vic. Keep, keep trying. Keep the tanks alive. You don't, don't. It's fine. Why did you press your button? I didn't know something was going to happen. Yes! Vic, the savior. Vic. Vic, the savior. Okay. All right, all right, we're good now, we're good. Nothing happened, nothing happened. <laughs> Hi, RC! Okay, something did happen, um, but it's okay. Just a little, oh, uh, Vic needs to get up. All right, let's get Vic up, uh-huh, uh-huh. Got this corruption. All right, I'm gonna slow, oh, okay, I'm not, not going to actually. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, all right, I'm gonna slow revive this guy. I got it, I got it, don't worry. Oh, or you had it. <laughs> That was a little nerve-wracking. We did it! That was as good as I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> Dang it! If I didn't get frozen, it would have been fine. Oh. Wow, so good. I couldn't even calm anyone. They left so fast. Wait. Okay. Why did I think there was gonna be a treasure chest? Wait, we should. Yeah, Ethan, why'd you leave? We should have taken a photo. How? Where should we take a photo? Valley like Garmond is gone. Let's just do it again. Y'all want to do it again? Let's do it again. Actually, I'm a I'm actually not against that. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I ate a giant tank buster. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, hold on. I have a cutscene first. Wow. And the ruler, he couldn't even kill this we thing. We did it. We slew Valley Yarmanda. But to be fair, it probably didn't have all its ether, you know?
Also, sorry, Bob. A feat that even Hold the on. great Gulul Shacha couldn't manage. Mm hmm. Look, with all the. <laughs> For you, Papa! Look, this is what you can accomplish when you work together! There's no denying it was an impressive achievement, but I wouldn't be so quick to claim we've outdone father. The Vidral was weakened by decades of imprisonment. Had we faced it in its prime, we wouldn't have fared a fraction as well. How can you say that? 80 years couldn't have made that much of a difference. Could it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Papa's still the best. Aww. Well, now they never now they don't have to worry about it ever again, right? It's like dead dead, right? You fought well though. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Even if it wasn't at full strength, we defeated a living legend. I swear, I'll surpass the old man one day. The Sky Ruin lies dead. And still, I've yet to prove myself the miracle. I suppose we should head back and join Erinville. I we did leave him with only Sarelja for company. <laughs> what horrible company that is. They're all laughing. That's cute. Yeah, I remember Effin actually remind showed me the squirrel outfit. I forgot about it. Um the acorn on the front of the outfit jiggles when I jump the heck. All right, let me turn this in and we'll go do it again. Your proud expressions bespeak a successful hunt. Not that I'm surprised in the least. Zoralja came back earlier, but left almost immediately with Surilja Cyril, Cyril, in tow. He seemed disinclined to share in any victory celebrations. That's nothing un unusual for Zoralja. No, it's Bakul Jaja that concerns me. He's probably far ahead now, making the most of the mayhem he caused. I still can't believe he did something so evil just to slow us down. If we hadn't slain Valley Garmanda, it wasn't only Urko Pacha at risk. There would have been deaths across the entire continent. I'm more certain that, than ever that Bakul Daja cannot be allowed to rule. I have to catch him and take back my keystone. Heck yeah, we do. All right, let's do it again. But don't leave, don't leave this time. We're gonna take a photo. Um, also, Bob, thank you so much for the 121 months. Appreciate you. I had my alerts pause, sorry. <laughs> thank you. All right, this time for sure, I won't die. The only problem is doing this with people, I always get spoiled because everybody knows where to stand. So I can't really think of like, oh yeah, this is what we do, that is what we do. I mean, I could technically use the NPCs, but I don't know. I, I, I've I played this game far too long to, that the NPCs, being able to play the NPCs just feels off for me. It feels off, it feels off. I've never, I've, I don't think I've used it that, I think I've probably used the, whatever it's called. What are they called? The system? Oh wait, no, this is back. Oh no, that was the, oops. Okay, I should have known better. Don't heal me. That was my fault. Duty support? Uh. Uh, whatever, 
it's called. I, I'm not... I don't use it often. Okay, get in the center. Wide. Oh wait, no, we have to go up here. I remember. We took no damage. Okay, stay up. I use a trust whenever it's a story moment that I feel is fitting. No, there's nothing bad with using them. At all. You're very wise to use them, especially like this. Maybe I should have used it for this, but I don't know. Fun. Oh shoot. This falls upon the battlefield. So if you're targeted, you just need to go down to lower ground. Okay. Right, and then now we gotta stand here. So, Alright, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna do the circle? Oh, he's doing this thing, which I still never figured out. I don't understand it. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm moving now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Come, come over here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And a little this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I thought we were- oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, we're, are we gonna get hit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hello.
Wait, no, go in the corners! No, I wasn't fast enough! But I knew I needed to go in the corner! Darn it! I need to be taught what to do with the, uh... When it... When it pushes us backwards. Or maybe I should just do sure cast. Maybe. Okay, where's the... Where's... Where? Oh, God. Okay, wait, where do I stand? Maybe, like, right here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, in the center. <laughs> This is fun, though. I like this trial. Okay, I'm constantly moving this time. Oh, but I'm moving it not being hit. Oh, God. Okay. All right, okay. I can stop moving now, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. It's okay. We're fine. Gosh darn it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why am I doing worse this time? <sighs> no, I died. The stupid avalanche. Okay. Alright, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. I think I can move. Oh my god, please. Okay. <laughs> We go. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll get. I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. There you go. <laughs> he died so many more times this time. Darn it. Why am I doing worse? Maybe it's because I was paying more attention last time. Wee! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm gonna get back here if you're up there. Let's stand. Uh, I don't know if this is a good spot. Ugh, it's okay. Yeah! I did it this time. Don't leave! Here, you. Okay, are we all here? Yeah! Alright, where should we take the photo? I feel like this is a cool backdrop with the with the ice and the fire. What do you think? Or are y'all just thinking right here? With the exit in the background. With the mountains? Okay. <laughs> I still think this would be cool. Let's stand over here. I think this looks cooler. Okay. <laughs> I won't die this time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh wait, do that again. Do that again. Uh, hold on. Okay. Do that again. Do it again. Do it again. There. Perfect. Cute. Okay. Got it! Okay. Alright, we can leave now. Go us! Uh, woo! <laughs> I should probably change my background to be green so people know I'm a healer. So I'll get more comms that way. Because I didn't get a single one. Did you get one? I did die a lot, so that is fair. <laughs> what a redemption. <laughs> I'm gonna change my background. Look how cute it is. Mm, 
healer gradient. And then I'll instead of that, I'll do I'm a healer. Give me commendations. Perfect. <laughs> Zero? Wait, you were a tank and you did so good. Ugh, people these days. I'm just kidding. That was fun though. Thanks, guys. That was so much fun! I honestly thought. Well, no, that was really difficult. So I take it back. I was gonna say it wasn't that hard. No, it was hard. <laughs> the feet of ice! Oh, look, I get it. You're th you're crown from this. Yes. That means I have two more. The Yaqui must still be anxious, wondering where and when Valley Garmanda will strike next. I suggest we hurry back and allay their fears. Allay? 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 Uh, Alphano as well. I should think. Yes, you're right. We shouldn't let them worry about... Uh, worry another moment. Off we go! I wish I could fly back. I'll just teleport back, that's better. I wonder what the extreme is like. The extreme is hard. Spoiler alert. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm just guessing. Ooh, doing that with the extreme will be fun. Let me tell ya, ouch. <laughs> that sounds fun. We'll have to do the extreme later whenever I unlock it. I have to be level... I have to finish main story quest to unlock the extreme version, right? Or can I unlock it now? I've only watched a guide and there's a lot to remember. Ooh, fun. Before we do anything else, we should talk to Griffler. Alright, Griffler, we have killed your spicy noodle. To the temple, then. That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. That's us. Vali Garmanda is no more. Yours is. He's a victory worthy of song. Oh, they're playing the the oh I love this this music, man. Yes. Hmm. We had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town. But the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. Plans for the second feat to be conducted. You're right. There was supposed to be two. But now it's dead, so... A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. I knew that's what they were probably going to make us do. Hmm. How shall we proceed? Hi, we literally Mary. killed it, though, so, like, that's what more even better. We test, they have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jalja, then no one is. What's so crazy is Bukul Jalja wasn't with us, so he doesn't get this keystone. Get wrecked, Bukul Jalja! Unless he already got it. I'm assuming he didn't. Now that our last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Nice. Makes five. Only two left to collect. Two more? That's it? Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. And for losing Vali Armanda. 
You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. They really did hype up Valley Garmanda. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> the unkillable beast. Was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha. I'll consider it. If it's one of you two who claims the throne. Hey. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. <laughs> so confident. Today is a day for unusual visitors. Oh, it's this guy. Was it not? I doubted you could slay Valigar Manda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the betrayal been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet a debt has been incurred all the same. It will haunt me if I do not repay it. Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. Ooh. Oh, good idea. That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. <laughs> my list of questions. The golden dreams. Yes. We have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shakhtural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Reminds you of a certain place, doesn't it? Every building was a palace, and in their midst reigned a silent goddess, a statue so tall even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A silent goddess? Where we need to find the silent goddess? A statue of a goddess. That's new. Aye, and compared to the abstract imagery we've previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions, compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shakhtural, where they died in droves.
Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps. Who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams. No dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel. From the very first? But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once our people's withdrawal to Urkopacha was complete, we never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. What does she mean by experience of visions? I'm a little confused. <laughs> Elf. <laughs> you would think their voice would hurt after that. <laughs> He's just towering over you. Well, they are considered the giants, right? The other guy's even bigger. Oh, yeah, this is Kryl. <laughs> but Kryl is the same height as me, so... <laughs> Yeah, what does he mean, experience the visions? What does he mean by visions, chat? Does he mean, like... Yeah, I don't know what he means by that. What does he mean, visions? Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there. Like, visions about... Visions of the Golden City? Like, as in, like, dreams to go there? Or do you mean like actual visions? Thank like you they for knew what, your stories with us. what it looked like probably? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Sorry. I do not require gratitude. I merely repaid a debt. <laughs> okay, bro. Farewell, Wook Lamat. I do not think our paths <laughs> will cross again. What? Why not? Okay. So interesting. The Golden City is obviously what killed so many of them. So whatever is there, or I guess not even just them, they just said whoever goes. So pretty. Uh, whoever goes doesn't come back. So we're gonna have to find a way before we go there of how to not get sick. I don't think Vorpolor and his brethren will have a sudden change of heart about Tuliolo, but that doesn't mean they'll never change at all. Today is proof of that. Hey, the current! Oh, look! I can get my other. T oh, I want to do that before I leave. <laughs> the promise of peace. I think it's time we return to Tuliol after scaling Tural's tallest mountain and battling a legendary beast to the death. Even dauntless heroes like you could probably use a rest. In any case, there are preparations to be made before we can visit the next destination. New area chat. Before, or la next destination laid out in the saga. The respite would be most welcome. I believe I hear the forward cabins calling our names. New area! Summer word. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, girlfriend. Alright, before I leave, I want to 
should go and do these side quests. There was one, so I was I was unlocking the Aether Current quest in um where was it? It was in Earthenshire. And there was one quest, I don't know why, but it made me get emotional. <laughs> and it probably shouldn't have, but it did. Uh, it was the one quest, I haven't finished it because y'all know some of these quests, they like turn into side quests. But it was the one where it was the Moblin and the, I think it was a Hrothgar, I can't remember. But basically, the, he was going to retire, and the Moblin was trying to help him. And he's like, get out of here! I don't need your help! Don't stop! I forbid you to touch my tools! And he's like... And then the Moblin's like, okay, I'm going to leave shame-faced. And I was like, oh, he's, she doesn't know. Because the, the, the Hrothgar just wants her to leave so that he can surprise her with like a nice gift. But that is not how you do it. I was like, man, that's so mean. You don't, even if you have a surprise for someone, you should not be so mean to them. I hate it. I hate it. It made me sad. Probably shouldn't have made me sad, but it made me sad. I want to continue doing that main story quest, or side story quest. But I'll have to do it later. Because, yeah. Alright, what is this? The flame burns no more. Alright. Great and mighty miss, I have heard tale of your victory over Valley Garbanda. Ooh, great and mighty. That's me. You protected our land, and for that I, Murfler, expressed my deepest gratitude. I wish only that I could have seen the battle with my own eyes. As a warrior of the Yaqui, I cannot fathom how one of your diminutive stature laid low the fearsome sky ruin. Excuse me, is that how he called me short? Diminutive stature. <laughs> what? Wow. Thus do I ask if you would demonstrate your martial prowess. Okay. I thank you for this honor. Of late, hulking monsters have been sighted south of the Shades of Grief, endangering all who travel along the road. I bid you snuff out this threat, and I might see you see for myself how you subdue your foes. I shall go there now. Join me when you are prepared. Alright, let's go do this quest. How rude! I keep forgetting I have my mouse on my mouse button. How very rude! Diminutive stature. He compliments me by saying I'm great and mighty, and then he says I'm says I'm short. Okay, wait, where am I going? This way. Ah, how we feel in chat? How are y'all liking Dawn Trail? It is a... I've seen, I've seen mixed reviews, thankfully without any spoilers of what people thought. Um, at least I don't think it's a spoiler. <laughs> but this is like the, the beginning expansion. Can't wait to see where it goes so then I can have I can have my own opinion of how well I liked it. I mean I like it already. Well Do you want me to fight that? Oh, he's dead. Glad am I to see you did not lose your way. As for this one, it made the mistake of picking a fight with me. There was another, but unlike its comrade, it had the good sense to flee. Not far, however, it stalks us from the shadows, yet thirsting for blood. These beasts are formidable indeed, possessed of strength equal to their keen senses. I would have you hunt down the one that remains. Follow its tracks to the southwest. Doubtless it will reveal itself to what it will see as a smaller, less challenging foe. Yeah, I'm not to be trifled with, but you don't know that yet. <laughs> Great and mighty, but also small. <laughs> I am mostly positive, but it's not my favorite expansion. I don't think it can be. Can it? I don't know. It's like the beginning. Was a Realm Reborn anybody's favorite? Absolutely not. <laughs> it does have really good memories and nostalgia for me, though. 
because that was a long time ago. I was lost like every day. I was so lost every freaking day. I was like, I don't know where to go. So I hit shift cast. do that often. I hit buttons I don't mean to press. Now it's not gonna affect me, but if I do extremes, ooh, we're in trouble. There you go, I fought the dude. Great and mighty! Here I come. Did you see that, Murfler? Impressive! Not once did you falter before the towering Halupin. Halupulula. Quick to react and adapt you were indeed. Yes, I have seen all that I need to see. Now that the threat is no more, let us return to Warlord's Echo. I did it. I really what I really like Walk Lament though. I like being or I like playing either as the character that's like her or the side character like her. Kinda like in Sea of Thieves. Not Sea of Thieves. What the heck? Sea of Cloud what shoot. Jai, what is the game name again? Sea of Clouds? Yeah. Why am I saying <laughs> Sea of Thieves? Just like the characters in that too, with uh, oh man, I already forgot the characters. Save stars! Man, it was one of those. I was like, what the heck? Um, why am I already forgetting his name? Why did I already forget? Well, their names were unique. Garl! Yeah. I like I like characters like Garl and Waklamet. I like it. It makes it makes the game even more fun when you have people that are just so I don't know, happy, I guess. I don't know if happy is the best term though. They're just like so they're like the people you want to be around. So it's like that in a game. I guess it's hard for the story to be engaging after the stakes were so high in the previous expansion. Yeah, yeah, there ain't no way. There has been an enlightening experience for- This has been an enlightening experience for me. Not often am I granted the chance to witness a warrior whose skill far surpasses my own. For years I served as guardian of Kar Yorzar, the gracious, watching over the seal placed upon Valley Garmanda. I would have aided in the feat of ice too had the sky ruin not rendered our plans meaningless. Oh, okay. You see, it is the duty of the temple guardians to drive off uh drive off the dangerous creatures drawn to Valley Garmanda's energies. At times, it was all we could do to shield the frozen Vidral from swarms upon swarms of beasts. But now that Valley Garmada has been laid low, we Guardians have nothing left to guard. Oh, shoot. That's right. What are they going to do now? Hi, Stack. I, th I like the Final Fantasy IX references, this expansion, a lot. I've never played. So how you have to tell me. Of course, this is cause for celebration. Urko Pacha, nay, all of Tural, need no longer fear the Sky Ruin's destruction. And yet, a part of me felt otherwise. Deprived of purpose, I relinquished my position. Hmm. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't mind if someone made my job unnecessary. <laughs> what? Because we killed Valley Garmanda? I feel bad. We we made this guy out of we got it out. He's not he doesn't have a job anymore because of us. Oh, I did not mean to suggest I blame you for my woes. Were it not for you, I would surely not be standing here to bemoan my plight. At any rate, I thought seeing you in action might move me to seek my next passion, or at the very least provide inspiration for a new combat technique. But given that you are smaller than a Pelu Pelu, I remained skeptical until I observed your power firsthand. I wonder if this text is different if you're not a Lollafell. <laughs> Cause not everybody is smaller than a Pelu Pelu. 
I would also be remiss not to praise your economy of movement, always thinking ahead, looking for the shortest route to victory. What calling has led you to develop such commendable skills? Ah, uh, so you're an adventurer. Does that mean your life's perfect purpose is to pursue is the pursuit of adventure? How intriguing. Alas, much as I would love to hear your many tales, I will not keep you. When next you have a moment, however, it would be my honor to speak with you at length. Yes. Alright, that opens up another side quest. I just short legs. <laughs> okay. I only need one more aether current and then I can fly in this area. Yay! And then I can join hunt trains that are... Well, at least in these two areas. Yay. Now, an illuminating ritual. Hail, visitor. Care to partake in one of our customary rituals? Fret not, for your part will part to be played is a simple one. You see, the illuminations here in Warlord's Echo make use of glowstones, a rare and precious mineral found only through mining. On occasion, we offer up prayers in the hopes that their light remains strong and bright. First, I would ask you to raise a hand to the salt water jar and pray for light everlasting. Strange though it may seem, I assure you, it is a necessary step in our ritual. Now, great warrior, slay, slayer of Valley Garmanda, open your heart and focus. Okay. Slayer of Valley Garmanda. It appears your feelings were heard loud and clear. Let us proceed to the next step. Now that the salt water has received of your prayers, you need merely sprinkle it upon the glowstones scattered around the village and the ritual will be complete. All right. Where are, where do I scatter? I like the music here. I think this is the first time I actually could really listen to it. Are y'all the same way? Like, I don't hear the music until things are nice and peaceful. But to be fair, the music changed because of Valley Garmanda. But I can't remember. Maybe I was here at night when I first came, so I couldn't hear this song. I see you have successfully completed the ritual and for that you have my thanks. Likewise, my fellow Yaqui will be glad to know that an outsider has shared in our culture. When mining the peak for glowstones, we occasionally discover shellfish fossils. Some have wondered if perhaps this tall mountain was once submerged beneath the waves many long lifetimes ago. The stone's radiance is a reflection of their joy, shining all the brighter when offered water that smells of the sea, or so the story goes. Thus was our little tradition born. Knowing that it, it is the will of a great warrior that now illuminates our humble village, our spirits are sure to lighten as well. Suffice it to say, we are fortunate indeed that you were willing to join in on our prayer with an open heart. May the light of the glowstones ever guide your steps. That was cute. Watch chat, look! Oh, I got the achievement. Yay! I can fly now! I can fly! Whee! <laughs> it's always the best feeling when you have this unlocked. 
Yay! I'm flying on a Shiba Inu. Okay, well, now what? <laughs> we need to go back to Tura. So I have I have both areas unlocked now. Yeah. All right, let's go and unlock the new area, shall we? I forgot what they called it. The first two areas have six instances right now. Each is actually decent for at least doing a bit of the hunt train. Not bad. Oh yeah, I can't. Uh, let's see, is there a place closer? Yes. To the cabins. Rest well, everyone. We can meet back here later on. I have a small errand to run in the city, so I'll leave you to recover. Will you be heading to the palace, Wokulmat? Wokulmat, did you hear me? Lost in her own little world, it seems. Well, no matter. I'll be back soon enough. Cute. An attendant is standby. An attendant is standing by to unlock your cabin. Enjoy your stay. What do I do now? Speak to the cabin attendant? Wait, I have a cabin? I have a cabin? Oh. Wait, we actually get to rest? The in rooms here are nice on a side note. They have a view over the sea, which they... I wish they do something like it for apartments. Eh, this is nice. Oh, I pissed past it. Wow. This reminds me of, like, the fancy places at the Maldives. Maldives? All day? I've never been there, but... Wow. Welcome back, Mistress Kylie. Your cabin is just as you left it, minus a light layer of dust. Dust? I'm the warrior of light. Wow, yeah, I would, that is relaxing as heck. I, I would love that. <laughs> All the furniture's so big though. Astinian, is that you? Dang. You <laughs> I'm just have kidding. a moment? <clears throat> this is a cute little area, though. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. So... I, uh... <laughs> what is going on? It's just too stuffy in here, that's what. We should go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. Who needs to reach the door handles when the doors automatically open? Come on, guys. away from your nice comfortable cabin but I can feel the walls closing in oh I know I'll take you to one of my favorite places in Tuliol that should help me get my thoughts in order we'll go to the resplendent quarter and make our way up from there where here He also opens all the doors for me. Is that what she does? Hi, Edwarden! Thank you! 
You can go in at the desk. In at like the desk front of this area. Wait, you can? Oh, oh yeah, you can. She's the innkeeper, duh. Cool, okay, I'll have to go there later. So what are you saying about apartments? I wanna have a view like that in my apartment. I don't care if it wouldn't make sense in Gridania. <laughs> it would be, <laughs> it would be nice. Peshawa, what are you doing up and about? Is your back feeling better? Peshawa? It's much healed now, so don't make a fuss. Besides, I can't be lo lounging in bed all day when you're out there fighting your hardest to win the throne. You're the claimant with the greatest love for peace. Aww. I love this nation of ours, and lending you my support is the least I can do. That's cute. When I see you smile like that, how can I not be encouraged? Oh, there's plenty more who believe in your cause. I can recruit a whole battalion of smiling faces if you think it'll help. Oh. Yours alone is more than enough. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Third Promise. I shall pray for your success in the contest. Whole sum as heck. Oh, the old people love me. All those smiling faces. I'm too poor to get a house, so I take just making the apartment bigger, even. <laughs> Rhea. Hi, Adam. Good morning. Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. It's just that with the progress we've made in the contest, even these everyday encounters feel that much more special. Do you think we can take our time and maybe wander around a little bit? Then we can head to that spot I was thinking of. Just say what you want to say. Adam, I did my first trial today. It was fun. Did you beat Dawn Trail yet? Say yet. Have you beaten Dawn Trail? Ooh, I love this spot. Ooh. Ooh, look at that sun. This is much better. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city. And whatever worries I had would seem so small do you remember what i said at the top of war corps Zormor? that i would fight to preserve papa's peaceful tural well i've been thinking a lot since then about what peace really means if it's just the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. We just met her. I realized nothing gives me greater joy than oh. the happiness of others. Cute. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. Ugh, the music. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces 
are the best measure of peace. That's so nice. You wish for a world like in the Yaqui's dream? With eternal <laughs> life and no struggle or conflict? It's certainly an ideal worth striving for. Who knows if we could make such a world a reality. But renouncing war and conquest seems like a good place to start. Yeah, I know. Music always so, adds to these cutscenes. This is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness. I thought she was gonna fall for a second. <laughs> That's so sweet, though. It's just like Kryle said. By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began. But there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. If it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much, and in so short a time. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? <laughs> Thank the gods for that. I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace, but I'll see you back at the caverns. Cute. That's so sweet. Hi, PJ. Oh, time to wake up. The end music is so sweet. <gasps> Look at that pineapple. Oh, I want a pineapple. Man, who lit? Who sleeps flat on their back like that? Do y'all sleep like this? I could never. I'm a side sleeper. Also, that that pillow does not look comfortable. But oh, look at me, ah, uh, refreshed. You sleep like that? Sometimes side sleeper forever. Yeah, man, I would wake up peaceful as heck if I woke up in this inn. Like, no way. Like, no way. Hi oh my god. I'd love it. Ready to start beating some people up. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Just <laughs> what happens for me sometimes is not often. Only if my back is hurting. That makes sense. Man, that was such a cute little cutscene. I like that. All right, let's go speak with Alphano. Coming, Alphano. Oh, wait, Adam, I told you, are y'all okay because the hurricane, are y'all good? Is everything good? You look to be in good spirits. I assume your leisure time was well spent. I was glad to snatch some quality sleep myself. After all, it will soon, it will soon be back to the road for us. That's for sure. Swooping through us uh, in a not bad way. Okay, good. Hadn't even lost power. Good. 
That's reassuring. The leap to yak teal, 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 teal to teal. How do we say that? Uh, this is our next area. Get hype chat, new area. Y'all have already seen it though. Tell, okay, tell. What is this? Weapon coffer, okay. I'm sure the others will be along shortly. I do hope everyone has rested well. But that's good, I'm happy. I'm happy for that, Adam. Now that we have refreshed ourselves somewhat, let us consider all claimants as they currently stand. Zoralja and Kolna have completed every feat thus far and have and hold five keystones apiece. Wuklamat would be equal with them, but for Bakul Jaja's thievery, which has left us one short. That conniving braggart didn't do much as lift a finger for the feet of proof and wrecked havoc for the feet of ice. He can't have more than three keystones at most. He may think he can simply steal what he needs to win, but he's sorely mistaken. I will be taking back what is mine. This, I swear. Yeah. I fear that reclaiming your keystone may not be enough, that is. If Bakulja's... Bakuljaja's unleashing of Valley Garmana is any indication. Using his lead, I anticipate that he will move to obtain the remaining keystones before disrupting his rival's attempts. We may all find ourselves being forced to take from one another. I can't say I'd be comfortable with that. But neither will I surrender my claim to the throne so easily. If it's for the sake of preserving the happiness of my people, I'll do what I must. The last two keystones we require are those of the Lay of Repast and the Lay of the Brotherhood. The former depicts the cessation, cessation of hostilities between the Mamulja, Exbra and the forest of Yaktel, specifically near a village called Eek Brash. I think that's how they said that, Brash. Um, okay. That's where I was born, if you recall. I haven't been back there since Papa took me in when I was a baby. Where the Lay of the Brotherhood takes place, however, is unclear. In the saga, it is said that a foreign explorer came seeking an audience with the Dawn Servant, but little more than that. Eorzea has a similar tale. The explorer Kedaram befriended a two-headed king known as the Octar before commencing his travels across Tural. He journeyed here several times afterwards, but was ultimately lost at sea. At least, that is the commonly held belief. Your two-headed king certainly sounds like Papa, so this Kedaram fellow must have come to Tuliol. But it's known because he was on the grave site, or the stone thing. Not the grave, wait. It wasn't the grave site. But if he in Deed arrived some 80 years ago. The capital may not have been built yet. Vestiges of Yaqui architecture notwithstanding. Wait, you said Otark, didn't you? Then Ketaram must have met the Dawn Servant in Mamuk. Mamuk? Is that a city? One of the grandest in Tural, once upon a time, and the seat of Mamulja's home. It too lies in Yachtel, not far from Ikrash. Then all things considered, Yachtel seems the obvious choice for our next destination. From here, the safest method of travel is by dirigible. We should make for the landing once our preparations are complete. <gasps> Hot air balloon! We're riding in one of Kona, Kona's balloons? They can't be any worse than ships, can they? D A dirigible, but hot air balloon. Okay. Ooh, dirigible landing. Hi, Leslie. 
Did I hit her? Dirigible attendant. The next flight to Yonkel will be leaving shortly. Passengers are asked to keep hands, legs, and luggage inside the dirigible at all times. Sounds good. <gasps> Look at him! Uh, are we sure that thing will stay in the air all the way to Yachtel? <laughs> I love how she's the only one that's worried. It's like a genuine concern. <laughs> Look, what? What? Everybody ignored her. Are, are you ready? Bags packed and her goodbye said? There's no... <laughs> there's no going back once we lift off. Not that I'm nervous or anything. I'm just making sure that you're not nervous. Ah, who am I kidding? My knees won't stop shaking. Hey, will you hold my hand? Just until I've settled my nerves. Oh, of course. <gasps> Maybe ask Aaronville? Oh, I should have said that. You're the nicest person I've ever met. I'll try not to crush your hand. There she is, third promise. Wait just a moment. My blue. My blue and Tobley. Of course, of course. I'll wait as long as you need. <laughs> Sorry to delay you, but we were able to discover the origin of Kryle's earring. <gasps> Ooh, is that so? You said before that it gained popularity in Yacht Toral as a protective ward for travelers, correct? That's right, we tracked down the elderly merchant to whom first sales are attributed. According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign mage he met at market some 20 years ago. Ah, little did he know that charming taste of salt would prove to be a commercial triumph. A foreign mage wearing this earring? Could only be grandfather. Did the merchant happen to mention which market? One in Yachtel to where it seems you are already bound. Perfection. What luck. Then I shall seek my next clue once we arrive. Is it a mere coincidence that brought my grandfather there? Or yet another discovery to look forward to? Thank you both for coming all this way. Thank you. Kat, thank you for 49 months. Adam always makes me do this. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> I swear to God. Adam, thank you, Kat. Anything for the third promise. Good luck for the rest of the ride. Uh, thanks, I won't let you down. I've just got to board this dirigible and, and I'm as good as there. Let's last call for passengers to Yachtel. Let's -a go. <laughs> he typed the message too. <laughs> I really hope she wins. Yachtel will test her mettle without a doubt. The next Dawn Servant must be willing to bear the full weights of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. Uh-oh. The weights? God, what's gonna happen? Ooh! The fierce Chaparral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest, Yachtel. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named. Avatar. Wow, that's so pretty. Wow, pretty. It is here where the Shebral and Mamulja once battled for dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. Shebral.
Yay, new area! <laughs> Jabral, that's how you say it. Jabral. I, oh, that's so hard to remember. Jabral. 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 Ugh. Are you all right? I've never been good with heights. Pandora, I guess I should have said, not The vegetation Avatar. is far denser than in Cozumalca. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. Cenote? A cenote? Cenote. Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said, and after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Many meteors fell. Hmm. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. <laughs> okay, good to know. So, don't take a tumble. <laughs> On it. <laughs> They're all looking at her. <laughs> it was one time. <laughs> Is the Chabral community depicted in the Lay of Repast close by? Aye. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. Cool. We're in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Okay. With thicker vegetation comes reduced visibility. I advise you to keep someone inside at all times. And it's foggy. No, we're gonna get lost. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's a, that's. Out the way. What is that thing? Interesting. Keeping monsters out. Wow, look, new area. I have so much to explore. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is that water? Oh, it's water. Oh, Adam! And I make Kat stop being shy and share her stuff because I love when our best streamer girl has her numbers go up. You're so You're so nice! <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> I appreciate it. Three, yeah, three years! Thank you! They're very pretty. It is very pretty. Oh. What are they fighting over there? What is that? Is that a flying squirrel? It's a flying squirrel. I think. Okay, don't don't get off the path, Kylie. Ooh. Ooh. Necrosis. Yes. It's an interesting name. Oh, there they are. We'll have to, we'll travel more later. Ah! I'll just, ah! Giant plant! <laughs> Hold that thought. I had no idea it made the sub goal go up on stream. Yeah! Oh yeah, new aether currents. <laughs> That's okay. And another place to fake grind! I know what I'm doing at the end of stream. Good, everyone's accounted for. Eek brush is up ahead. Let's go on our way. Eek brush. Eek brush. I've actually been enjoying the Aether Currents for some reason this time. They're placed in really nice areas. Like where we're already going to explore. So if you're already like looking out for them, I feel like they're just easier to find. 
most of them. Not all of them. Some of them are like, like why is random, but, but yeah. Um, nice. What do you mean by enjoy exactly? It gives you a time to explore an area you already want to explore. This looks cool. What is this? Aaronville was not exaggerating about the, oh, th oh, those are, oh, I see. Sinotes, sinotes. I forgot how they already said them. But anyways, it would be a grueling ordeal to climb out of one. Well, thankfully we made it here without internet. Let's not dally any longer. <gasps> New weapon! New weapon! Wrong button. Well, I got to see it for a second. I forgot how, I forgot what my uh, button is to show my fit. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what button it was to show my thing. Oh, it looks like the same. <laughs> Stop. Uh, most of them are placed close to MSQ points. Yeah, and then you get one from the main story. And then the side quests are really nice. Some of them are really, really short. The ones that don't have the pictures. So, not bad. Not bad. Village of the Hunt. Ready to head on in? <gasps> New area! Hey, Whirly. Our first task should be finding the Elector. Hopefully our relative tardiness will not reflect poorly upon us. The third promise and her retinue, I presume, gentle villager. You presume right. I seek the dawn servant's elector. Look at his hair. He looks like a cheetah. Then come and join us in the garden of the stars. Ooh, at the village center, everyone is waiting for you. Garden of the stars. Sounds nice. Everyone. And who might that be? There is but one way to find out. Come, let us follow him. Oh, yes, Jai. Yes, the sightseeing log. <laughs> do y'all do the sightseeing log? Do y'all do that? Do y'all collect that? Whoa, everybody is here! Wait, did they make, did they make them wait for us? <laughs> wait a second. At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. That's right. If I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Eligarmanda in the first place. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sucks to suck, but cool, Jaja. <laughs> you self-serving piece of weaver dung. Do you have weaver? any idea how many could have been hurt? Yeah. <clears throat> now that we are assembled, let us begin. Okay, okay, gentle villager. I know that you want to begin, and y'all are probably antsy, but that. Needed to have been said. Did did Kona or the other guy say anything bad to that guy? Probably not. My name is Hunmuruk. Well, maybe as Kona. As Rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. How did he say that? Josh, 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 Rash, Rash, Jack, Rash, 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 Rash. Hunmuruk. He needed to have said that again. Replay. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Nice. Third promise. If you would please join us. Oh, 
I'm so happy that they everybody had to wait. I think red. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. Ooh. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. <gasps> oh. Okay, I call Kona. Oh no, we're gonna have to. Oh my God, don't don't tell me Baku Jaja is on my team. Rush, rush. <laughs> what? What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Hey, they're already a team of two, okay? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. We can't choose. Oh, no. I'm gonna be with... I'm gonna be with Butthole. Ugh! Twell forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. You just After jinxed it. Put her through. I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. <laughs> Alice says correct though, but she just she just jinxed it. Clements, please present your colors. Red. I have red. Blue. Oh. On separate teams, then. And the rest. <gasps> yes! Gonna! Yeah! Best team! As fate would have it. Okay, good. <laughs> Victory's as good as ours. Okay, that makes me happy. Okay, no jinxing done by Alice. Yay! With our claimants thus paired. So too is their opposition. We're on the same team again. <sighs> Not the one hit. You would have said that to everybody. <laughs> everybody has well. one hit. For the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Shebrol cuisine. Shebrook Pibil. Jebrook Pibil. Pibil? Jebrook Pibil. Mmm. Food! We have to cook? Ooh, I like this. Jebrook Pibil. 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 And now we must cook. Pibil. Another ludicrous feat. Ludicrous? So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this right must have significance. Mmm, food. Hi, Unstable. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Agreed. Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. The peoples we've met on our journey, they've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelupelu -pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. Dang it, I thought he had it. 
Uh... <laughs> Almost. <laughs> well, I guess that's his vision, so whatever. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Wait a second. How do... Wait, does the losing team not get the keystones? Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Oh, so we're gonna get it, but we just have to make it good enough. Okay. Let the feat of repast begin. Ugh, he's like, ugh, this guy. I've never actually heard of Shibruk Pibil before. It's a light, I wonder. It's gonna see it's gonna look so funny funny seeing those two work together. Like ain't no way. <laughs> Rhea. We got to figure it out now. How fortunate this feat's unique stipulations have frustrated but cool Jaja's attempts to delay us. Serves him right. That's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes. Why doesn't he just compete fairly? He's plenty strong and obviously has a mind for strategy, twisted though it may be. I'll never understand him. Putting aside our competition for the moment, allow me to express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a distinct advantage. Yeah, we do. Of course we do. Any team I'm on is bound to succeed. Uh, precisely. Oh. You mean we have an advantage in numbers? Yes? Our competition has a team of six. The two claimants, Surrealja and Bakul Jaja's lackeys. Whereas we are a team of nine, that's three more people we can mobilize. With the task suitably delegated, it should be a brief affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy! Well, we mustn't be overconfident, lest we make a careless mistake that could have easily been easily avoided. Our first order of business should be determining the recipe of... Brook Beal. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits of the Jabral people. Let us gather here once we have seen what clues the village has to offer. We're- this- this is crazy! We're- I'm- I'm not even- wait, what level MSQ am I on? I must be on level 94 now. Let me update my title. Yeah. We only have one more keystone after this, and I'm only level 90... doing level 94 quests. Interesting. And... interesting. Ooh. This area is so gloomy! It's like outside. I want to see what it looks like during the day. Oh wait! I need to go attune. Let me go attune first. Time to attune. Hi, Rhea. Oh, Capybara. Capybara. Capybara, Capybara. Okay. All right. Let's check. Hubigo Guardian. We ought to cut our losses and head to Mamuk. This feat is nothing but a fool's errand. You are the fool if you think we... He won't tan our hides for leather if we dare to return without enough keystones. But... <laughs> Wait, the sound effect. 
Uh, do we return without enough keystones? Besides, we've taken from the house cat before. How difficult could a second time be? I heard that. What are you looking at? Salt liquor? Salt liquor? Mind your own business. What a very interesting way to name call. Broken in, you saw that, right? Yeah. Butthole. All of them. They're planning to steal from me again. Salt liquor. <laughs> The little walk is cute, it is. But you're you're so big for the poor creature, <laughs> Ria. A lively conversation, I guess so. The recipe for that? I wish I could tell you, friend. A dish so delicious is meant to be shared. Alas, we are forbidden from divulging anything. Orders from Hu Hu Hunmu Ruk himself. But you're mentioning it has given me a fierce craving. I only hope there's still Ikruk to be had at market. Wink. <gasps> Wink! Okay. Gave me a little clue there. It's at the market. Okay, maybe it's a type of fish? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, don't go that way. <laughs> uh, let's see, where else can we go? Maybe we do need to go down that way. Let's go down the stairs, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the stairs we go. I almost fell to my death. I think. Is there anything down here? No, there isn't. This would make a great fishing spot, though. Where are these people? Heck, there's one more here. Maybe in there? Oh, it's sunny outside now. Maybe in here? What are they doing? Ah. That looks comfy. Not what I supposed to, where I was supposed to be though. Um. Maybe in there? Can't go in there. Maybe up here? What is this town called again? Equash. Can I go in here? Darn it. Well, there's gotta be somewhere. Shoot. Oh, here we go. Light-hearted lady. Colorful spices. A number of spices, some entirely unfamiliar to you, are nestled in a basket. That's one... That one's called... Achiote? We mostly use it to add a bit of color to our, our most popular cuisine, but its medicinal benefits are significant as well. Ah, okay, okay. Achiote. You love achiote? Am I saying that correctly? What is that? That's like a real spice? Hi, Boiler. Achiote. Ah, red. Interesting. I've never heard of that in my life, though. S looks cool, though. Alright. I think we need to go inside here for our last clue. Make Billy stew chicken with it. It's a spice blend paste. Oh, okay. Anato makes it red. Is that where it originates, the spice? <gasps> Is that a saber-toothed tiger? Ooh, bright banana peel. Oh, what the hell? Look at that! It's a fancy banana! An unusually colored banana peel has been neatly arranged on the ground, which appears to be 
smoking. Oh yeah, the ground is smoking. Oh no, it appears I've gone and dropped my Najul. I mean, Jatika Banana peel. Jatika Banana. I couldn't, or I could barely see it for all the steam and chewing from my underground oven. Ah, uh, there's nothing like enjoying a tasty banana while you use the leaves in your cooking. <laughs> I love it when people do stuff like that. <laughs> ah, underground oven, how nice. Wow, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is the underground oven. Cool, fancy banana in the region. It's a glowing banana. All right, let's go report back. So we got the spices, we got the the something that's in the market, and then we got the underground ovens with the leaves. Okay, let's go. I always like seeing so many people log in, so do the same thing. Mm, items needed to trade for materia. Oh yeah! That's why. I forgot. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. Oh, that's me. I'm back. <clears throat> what do we discover about... True to prediction, the villager... Is that a real food, by the way? True to prediction, the villagers were forbidden from educating us er, directly. However, many were still preparing it as... One might, a staple dish, and observation of their techniques yielded clues enough. Thanks, XBS. Did you do the train FM? A lady blending local herbs and spices were only too happy to describe the ones I didn't recognize, while neither confirming nor denying any relation to the Babil. Babil. But one in particular she attributed to all common crawl dishes. Achiote, she called it. I see. Then if Ixbrook Pabil is indeed a dish as ubiquitous as Alphano claims, we have confirmed our first ingredient. Meanwhile, I did observe a cook burying bundles wrapped in the leaf of Najul or banana in certain localities. It would seem the use of subterranean ovens is commonplace. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bundles then, don't you? Mmm. It broke without a doubt. A sizzling slab of beef. It smelled so good I could practically taste it. Maybe I should have said the first one. I think you were smelling what you wanted to smell. Oh. <laughs> Cattle is uncommon in Yoktara and unlikely to be an ingredient used in sprawl traditional cuisine. Okay, it broke without a doubt. As would be expected of a dish called Zbrook Pabil, indeed. <laughs> Uh, so to summarize, this dish is one of Ibrook, flavored with a combination of spices that include a, a chiote and steamed underground with najul or banana leaves. Given our assumptions are correct, we must now learn where and how to procure our ingredients. As a staple cuisine, its ingredients would be close at hand, which is why Thancred and I scouted the surrounding forest while you were all exploring the village. Between the local vegetation and wild Ibruk, we should have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. So it is meat. It's not fish. Not this time by half. How many do you have? Or did you already spend them to buy the materia you need? Hey, leave it to a master cleaner. With that, we should next divvy up our tasks. While some gather ingredients, others should make ready the kitchen. 
I can help prepare the kitchen. Why is it gotta be Cryo preparing the kitchen? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I spent some, but I currently have 40. Wait, the hunt train gave you that many? And you've only done one? Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens will doubtless require firewood, and I have some experience in its gathering. Oh, you've done it twice. Dang, that's still a lot, though. I do too. Should we should be glad to volunteer mine aid. Then the rest of us will gather ingredients. I can make quick work of spices and herbs myself. These these taste funny. Why do they taste funny? I'm happy to lead someone to a suitable Ibrook if they will perform the requisite deed, Alice, aka kill it. <laughs> expired? I don't I don't see an expiration date on them, so I guess they can't be expired. But I just bought these, so no way. They taste a little funny. As for the Najul Najul as for the Najul leaves, I believe I am capable of acquiring that much on my own. Be warned, you won't find Najul in these parts. They only grow in the Jatika heartland forest far below these. Hmm. Such an excursion may be time consuming. Perhaps we ought to try bartering first. This feat encourages our communication with the locals after all. Lama T, miss, if you would accompany me on my errand. Let's get some good bananas. No better way to whet my appetite. Good, let us be about our tasks then. We're gonna have to go buy some colorful bananas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, let's go and get those Najul leaves. The sooner we do, the sooner we can eat. How the heck are we supposed to know how to cook it, though? <gasps> New chess piece! I want to see what it looks like. Ooh! Unique. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Definitely if you dye it a different color. I don't like that color, but this is cool looking. All right, back to my original outfit though. Oh, save. All right, we get some pants. History of violence. Let us see if there, there are no jewel leaves to be had in town. Perhaps the cook Orion J mentioned might be persuaded to spare us a few. History of violence. <laughs> Who's violent? The banana? <laughs> Bananas? Here's the cook that had the bananas. Cheerful cook. Oh, hello again. Did you need something? The jewel leaves for purposes other than Zikbrook Pavil, naturally. Unfortunately, I've just used up uh, my last. You'll have to travel to the lower forest for more. Golmajik Grove is a source of the finest Najul leaves you'll find. Wild variants you sometimes see in city markets can't compare. Violent bananas? I see. I had hoped to avoid such a lengthy vic venture, but if there's no other way to obtain our ingredient than to the Jatika heartland, we shall go. 
Allow me to save you the trip. Oh. He has some bananas. Traveling there requires that you go through the Tyenbeck Traverse, but it has but it has caved in due to the recent storm, I expect. What? But that means we can't get our Najul leaves. But we can, can't we? If there were no other way of procuring them, you would have suspended this feat or else altered its objective. Perhaps. Anyway, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I feel I felt compelled to chime in. That's very kind of you. Any last minute advice you'd be willing to share? Only to undertake the feat of repast with an empty stomach. You may find Zikbrook Pabil to be a delicious but daunting dish to finish. Daunting dish to finish. <laughs> I can't wait. Daunting? Is it huge? big a big amount maybe that's maybe we have to get lots of bananas then still if there are no leaves here and we can't travel for more how are we supposed to gather all our ingredients so we need banana leaves these feats are meant to deepen our understanding of the peoples and cultures of tuliolo so perhaps there is something about zibrik pabil that we have yet to learn something of significance other than its recipe or ingredients Oh, I see. Like, who was the first to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. Ahem. If it's Yachtel's history you're interested in, you should start with the Old War. Between the Gibral and the Mamulja, right? These forests have borne witness to centuries of warfare, the evidence of which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of that bloodshed is to know Zygbrick Pabil. Huh? What does steam brick have to do with bloodshed? Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing thou... Vexing though such a detour may seem, I can think of no other way but way to approach this feat. In that case, you may wish to visit the site of a settlement ruined by the war. The village of Ilan... Ilan Asho. Asho. Ilion Asho. Asho? Asho? It lies a short distance to the east. The village of Ilion Asho. Understood. Thank you for your help. I definitely butchered that wrong. Or didn't say that right. Come, let's go and see this place. I feel like this quest was made for lemon. It's perfect for lemon. It's perfect. Um, let's see. This way. How has Lemon been doing? Has she been streaming the new, the new, um, oh, Dawn Trail? Or is she still busy? I actually haven't checked her stream in a while. That's on me. I got some carbonated water. Hmm. She's streaming today, not sure what. Gotcha. Yeah, I remember she was gone for a while because I believe she was moving. I need a race car sound when Lala's are sprinting. <laughs> oh no! Gosh darn it, necrosis! Oh, I have to go this way. He'll yawn a soul. <laughs> Tom sent me, Tom, <laughs> Tom sent me this like Instagram reel that was sent from his friend. It was like a whole bunch of people. I think it was in the UK. Um, Basically saying what's like the what's what's the red flag name of somebody um, and they kept saying Tom <laughs> and he's like no I'm a red flag <laughs> she is she has been is she on Dawn Trail 
Oh, Final Fantasy V before her break. Oh. The village of Yonaso must be further east. Let us continue with haste. For all we know, our competitors may be on our heels. Maybe. Probably stalking us. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wait, what do I do if I fall down in that? Let's just stay to the road. <laughs> Lots of holes to look out for. Test it? No! Not new Dawn Trail content yet? Okay. Look at the purple! What is that? What is that? Why is it purple? What is that? Chat, what is that? Purple. <laughs> the heck? Oh, we're almost there. A star? But it's so... Oh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> There's other ones like it. It just looks so weird. <laughs> All right, we have made it. Is this the town? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so this is the village of Ilonso, or what's left of it. It's a place of light and life. My great-grandfather called it home, in fact. Whoa, wait, he's here? What is he doing here? Wookoo boo! I didn't know you were in Yachtel. I think he knew we were coming, right? I was picking up oh, lumber from Ikbaksh, uh, Ikbaksh when I heard the Third Promise was on her way to this site of deep historical significance. I immediately saw another opportunity to be of service and so followed you here. Wukuvu is a shipwright who came to our aid during the Feet of Reeds. A pleasure. You are a member of the Third Promises retinue, I presume? For the moment, I suppose I am. My name is Kona. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Wait, did, why didn't he just say I'm the Second Promise? Kona! Now that's a good name. A familiar name. Where have I heard? Oh no, he's gonna do the thing. Oh no. Kona! As in the Second Promise of Tuliolo? I knew it. <laughs> the music. <laughs> to think that I address the dancer of its own son as some common retainer. Such disrespect cannot be excused. Please take up your gun and... Oh, come on. Not this again. I take no offense, so please do not dwell on it. All right, then. I'll shan't dwell on it. And, and right on cue, at least he's consistent. <laughs> it's so weird, his personality. I understand you wish to learn about the book Pabil. While I am forbidden by the Zabrash Rash to divulge any information regarding its preparation, I would be happy to share what I know of Yachtel's history. We'd appreciate that. In its most basic sense, the conflict between the Zabral and Mamulja was one of land. The Mamulja live in the lower forest, where the thick canopy obscures the sun and the soil is unforgiving to crops. This drove them to covet the upper forest, the home of the Jibra, and they launched a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. Yet advantage ever favors higher ground, and the Jibra forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and again. But, as the state of the village would attest, the tide eventually turned. What brought it about? Something you know all too well, blessed siblings. You must understand, the Mamulja were once a people as much at war with themselves as they were with others. The Hubigal, Bunewa, and Dopro each sought to assert dominance over the others, even as they engaged the Zabral in battle. 
in an effort to strengthen bonds and discourage infighting, Kubigo and Buniwa leaders ar arranged a marriage between their children. However, this political measure altered the course of history in ways no one could have ever imagined. <gasps> Hi, RG! Thanks for the 17 months! Hello! <laughs> Anakin's doom? Oh my god. Hi, RG! So wait, marriage between their children, as in like marriage between the Hubigo, Bunewa, and du Dopru, whatever the third one was? It altered the course of history in ways no one could have ever imagined. Oh, is that where the two-headed ones got, became a thing? It was long believed that partners of differing clans could not have children together. But then it happened. A child arrived who shared the blood of Hubigo and Bunewa both, a two-headed mamoja. Yeah, there it is. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess, he grew into a mighty warrior before eventually arising as the first Octark, ruler of all three clans. Nice. Octark. Such qualities would depose anyone to leadership, character notwithstanding. Under the Octarch's rule, the newly united Mamulja became a force to be feared, and the war soon came to a head. I think it's best you see the results firsthand. Let us visit another battlefield from that time, and there I shall continue the tale. To be honest, it doesn't really look like a battlefield. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe because it's dark. <laughs> Maybe. Because it, it just looks like... Empty houses. I guess that's fine. What's up there? What's that? Nothing? Okay. Go, Shiba Inu! Uto. Oh, this definitely looks. Oh my god! Okay. Whoa! They totally killed the forest. What's this over here? Oh, is this what they use to fight? Ooh. Man, after all these years, they're not gonna... Oh my god. This looks like, uh... History. <laughs> uh, whatever. The, you don't think you think they'll clean this up by now? This looks cool, though. This part. But not that. This doesn't look cool. Devastation. There's a hole over there. <laughs> That's fine, RNG, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I have to go back here. What a very interesting username. This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. Did y'all know? Let me confirm it. But did y'all know the voice of Wukuvu? Do you know who the voice is? Let me confirm it, because I'm not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the voice of Wukuvu is um a wonderful guy named joe hernandez and i don't know if y'all know or remember but joe hernandez is the voice of daruk and yonobo in uh zelda breath of the wild <laughs> did y'all know that sounds completely different a did, field of cinders indeed how fierce their clashes must have been the war over these lands began after the Yorkwee's departure some 500 years ago. 500 years ago. Dang. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. 
accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. First they sealed Bali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. Probably also helped that he was a Mamulja, or part Mamulja. What was that? What's going on? What is that? What? Ooh, ooh, look at all of them. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. I really gotta do that now. It's an important scene. I only know Zelda's and Revali's voice actors. Oh, well, there you go. A little, you learned something today. A little fact. Little factoroni. Tell that to the scales come. We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance? You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honor visitor here. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign powers' awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil, and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine, what do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front, an alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? I'd take you for a liar if the sting of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. Hmm. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, 
the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! Give us an evening to convince you. Just an evening? It's fun being able to see all the, the people he's with. Yeah, who is that? Who was that? Sus! And so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health. And, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. Ooh. So it was that the mamulja partook of spiced meat, and the chevrol steamed najul. Ah, I see. So that's what we have to make, because it's like a combination of the two. Ah. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined. And he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. That's Shibruk P. Billard, Wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Shabral and Mamulja cultures and proof of their newfound cooperation. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the dawn servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age-old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. That somehow so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Pibil and the history it has written. So we need to go to Mamoja to get more information about Absolutely. the dish? Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. Maybe not. What's wrong? I thought I saw someone. Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. Mm. Suspicious behavior! Ooh, it's bright now. Some good food, all you need to forget about war and murder. <laughs> Apparently. Papa really did live up to his words. He traveled the land... Ooh. Cool, I haven't heard this. 
this yet. Ooh, I like it. Uh, he traveled the land and learned about other people's myriad cultures. It does get Lolly vibes, kind of. And we're doing the same now. Pence! A gift the feet of repast wukubu has given us valuable insight into the or origins of zebrook pabil however we are still no closer to procuring the necessary nadru leaves unless tell me was that historic feast commemorated in some fashion with a monument for instance indeed it was allow me to show you Yeah, you would think they would clean up after these 80 years that they've been at peace. Like this. Oh, this? Ooh, look at that. Maybe they want to keep it like this, actually. To be reminded. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, here it is. Offered up by the two factions, these weapons symbolize their vow that they would never again rise arms against each other. Since that, since this feat demands a journey through history, I thought it only logical that a monument like this might steer us true, especially one at the heart of a significant a battlefield. Lamati, Miss, would you help me search this area for clues? Tell me if th anything catches your eye. Sure thing. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is where it's at now. Look here, the soil has been recently overturned. Treasure? Treasure? Ooh, someone buried a box. Were we supposed to uncover that, though? Well, well, I would have been satisfied to find only a hint, but here they are. Fresh Najul leaves. Hanmu Rook's doing, I'd wager. Mm, there's a poetry in hiding them on this battlefield, given that it was central to the war they helped in. Ah, how the heck did he know to do that? <laughs> so he planned all this from the start. Thank you again, Wukuvu. We wouldn't have found these leaves without your help. It was my honor to render assistance. And with apologies to present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well, Third Promise. Ever since I witnessed your performance in the Feet of Reeds, I have been certain that you are the claimant more, most worthy of leading our nation. I'll devise solutions to the Hanu Hanu's ailing crops, but you alone sought to know their culture and revive Ihuhana, even if it seemed unrelated to your task. In my humble opinion, no one cares more of the people of tu Tuliolo and what they hold dear. Is this a little awkward to say right in front of the second promise? <laughs> Should you again require the historical musings of an old shipwright, I am ever at your service. For now, I take my leave. Maybe it's still important for him to hear, though. It is a trial, yeah. <laughs> True that. I cannot argue with that. Oh, wow. Wow, even he, interesting. I wonder if he's gonna give her his keystone so that she can keep competing. <gasps> that would be crazy. We have what we need. Let us return to Ixbrox. We got the leaves. You think the other people got the leaves? Angel farts. Interesting. 
All right, let's teleport back. <laughs> People have some unique names in this game, right, Cat? <laughs> Not the not the craziest one I've seen. I'm glad we were successful. The others should be back soon, I expect. I hope so. I'm famished. Oh, I was like, where? How did everyone fare? We got the Nijua leaves. Wukuvu came along and helped us find them. Wukuvu was here? I would have liked to say hello. Yes, he gave us an important history lesson. Let me recount that to you. My favorite thing about this game, the Final Fantasy channel and our friend Discord is almost entirely just screenshots of the names we see in 14. You should add that one. <laughs> oh my god. That Galul Jaja brought an end to centuries of warfare surprises me little, but to achieve such peace through cuisine is something else entirely. Leave it to my old man to find the oddest of solutions, but how about the rest of you? Is our kitchen ready? Everything should be in order. Urion Jay and I made another tour of the village and borrowed the cooking utensils we need, with no mention of what we needed them for, of course. <laughs> And I'm pleased to report that we are stocked with the finest firewood this forest had to on offer. Spoken like a true expert. Anvil and I found our Ibrook, so we should have meat plen a plenty. It was a spirited creature, so much so that its hunter fell down a cenote trying to catch it. Oh no. <laughs> what part of never speak of this anyone did you not understand? <laughs> Oh, I always say fell. Wait, that's cute. I picked a good portion of local herbs with p particular attention to the seeds that yield achiote. Uh, I'm told our resident astrologian divined the appropriate measurements for the seasoning as well. I, through further inquiry, did I determine the ideal balance of spices. Then all that remains is to prepare the dish itself. I presume that at least one among us is versed in the culinary arts. I'm level 71. I can hardly claim profound skill, but I have cooked for myself. You can leave the rest to me. Okay, Cryo. And you, I hope. As I recall, you are an accomplished culinarian. I'm level 71! What? Oh, my mouth is watering already. <laughs> I kind of miss zero. Oh, without further delay then. Ooh, the music. Let's get to cooking. I feel like I've seen that one before. <laughs> oh no. Made it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I think we're still making it actually. Good. There is still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. That makes sense. I don't see them both cooking. Oh, shoot. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Be quiet, Bakul Jaja. No one cares what you think. 
Huh. Act up all you like. Victory will be ours. Okay. It's ready. Are those tacos? Soft tacos? Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. Looks amazing. Did we do it? The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. Interesting. For animation, those look good. They've made they make it the food look so good now in this game. Two peoples after centuries of war. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. Cooking Mama prepared me for this moment. <laughs> They're so tiny. Oh, it looked tiny. In taste, texture, and aroma, you have recreated Shebrook Bibil. Admirably. Yay! We did it! Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. Suck it, other team. Well, won't they just hear this, though, and just say the same thing? Right? I don't know. Maybe not. How are they going to compete against us now? All that remains is to partake of your creation. Through understanding, it's gained only through experience. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. Ahem, I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Uh... Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. They do look similar, but they probably saw how we did it. <sighs> Does he like it too? I see. While your effort looks the part, <gasps> unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. Ah! P preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh, and what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I. It's because of you that we couldn't get any dab leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Yeah, both of these get learned a valuable lesson! Duh, it's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? <laughs> What did you like to know? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. 
As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. <gasps> your team, your will, team not receive will not receive keystones. Yeah! Tell them. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. <laughs> wow. Oh, what is he gonna do? What are they, what is he doing? Well, what's going on? His ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. Oh, shoot. Wait, how she just senses it? Dang. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. <laughs> She's just eating. This is delicious. Do you think? Oh shoot, that was her using. Well, not using the echo, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Dang. Back to happier times. So tender, it melts in your mouth, and the way the najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. This is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. Well, you tell him. Choke on your harmony. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> okay. More for me. <laughs> come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. Don't have to tell me twice. Please. You've got real culinary talent. If you ever tire of adventuring, you can always be my personal chef. Well, oh. it was palatable enough, I suppose. To you. Who have successfully performed the feat of repast. I present these keystones. Only one feat left. But technically, we still have two keystones we need. Darn it. Well, I should get going then. We're back to being competitors. Darn it. Hi, Red Shield. I'm glad that I... Uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. We can do better than that, surely. He could have said that better. Wait, why, house. Todd? Thanks for all your help, everyone. We did it. One more. One more. <gasps> I forgot something important. Um, was there any shipbrook people left? I could really use another helping. <laughs> was that it? It's paid out over two full pay periods beyond hitting six years, which I will not be employed at that point. They can't, like, make an exception? Especially since you've been there for six years? They can't make an exception? At all? It says in the FAQ? Oh, screw the FAQ. But whatever, screw them. You're gonna be in a better job now. 
That's so dumb though. Can you tell, can you tell like the company like to maybe, you didn't read the fine print. Can you tell the company to wait and then just say that you'll be there for however longer you need? Can we unmod Taw's employers? Corporate HR policies, yeah, right? I still have 160 hours of vacation payout. Oh, that's good. <sighs> the six year bonus would have been better though, probably. I'm sorry, Todd. Man, they have to do you like that? It's so dumb. <laughs> Hi, Panda. They have to give you your PTO? Do they give you your PTO in form of like cash? If you... Yeah, P bonus plus PTO would have been legit. <laughs> That was so good. I'm already looking forward to having your bricks pabil again. Here, Miss Cryo made us some made more using leftover ingredients. You'll love it. I'm thinking to buy more for the road myself. Uh, now that the feed of repast is over, the villagers should be free to offer it to us, right? Oh, that's what they gave me. Oh, <laughs> that's what the mystery was. <laughs> Ooh, we got food. That's cute. New wares are now available from the Jabral Merchant and Ikbrach. Nice. What happened to Todd? Nothing happened to Todd. He's fine. Can you not get some... Oh, legal advice? I mean, if it's in the FAQ and it's in the fine print, that's probably as legal as it's gonna get, which is dumb. I feel like that's so scummy to have something like that in the fine print. Like, if, if you've been there for six years, you've been there for six years, you know? My company rolls all unused PTO into my 401k, no payouts. Oh, really? I can buy the food there now. What did it say? What does it give? Direct hit bonus, fit bonus, gear durability bonus, experience bonus duration, 30 minutes. Can be used up to 10 times. Wait, how do I eat it? Duration can be extended to 60 minutes by consuming multiple servings. Oh, this is furniture? Oh, it does say tabletop! I thought it was food! I thought it was food. I was like, why can't, why can't I use this? <laughs> Darn it! Wait, can I go buy something? Oh, uh, wait, no. I guess if we put it... Is it already in the house? Can I go eat it? <laughs> um, hold on. Let's not go there yet. Hold on. Where? What? How do I eat it? Do they offer some here too? Can I just buy it here? It's a gemstone trader. Probably not. Oh, you did put some in the FC house? Alright, I'm gonna go eat it. Experience bonus! Even though I'm already level 99. <laughs> I'm almost level 100. I haven't been paying attention to me leveling at all. Wait, was this quest? Oh, level 94, okay. All right, my title's still up to date. Look how giant our house is. Huge, right? Huge. What is this? This is it? What? <laughs> it's so tiny. Okay, here we go. Alright, I should probably mend my clothes. Mend my clothes and... Uh, oh, is this it? Yeah, it is. Um, nom, nom, nom. I think I'll just do one, though. Wait! How do I put this in the house again? 
Or can we not? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, I can't. Oh, cause we're at 400 out of 400. <laughs> no! It's okay, I ate my share. <laughs> it's funny. <sighs> Just think about it, it's big for a Lollafell. Yeah, it is pretty big for a Lollafell. Too bad I'm like the only Lollafell <laughs> in the guild. <laughs> At least I think. Hmm. And yeah, you can you can eat it after you place it. I just couldn't place anymore because you can you can only put 400 items in a house or at least in the large house. Uh, and uh, the way that's decorated uses a lot of furnishing. <laughs> furnishing. <laughs> uh, they put secret doors everywhere. It took me 10 minutes the other day to find the entrance to my room. Finding the entrance, or finding the exit to our FC house can be kind of challenging too. <laughs> that was our FC house, RNG. I didn't even place the last few items. There were they were supposed to be like incense bowls and tea and stuff on some of the shelves. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> as long as we have our retainers and our menders and our people, it's all good. <laughs> all right, a father's grief, not level 94. All right, this is going to give us foot gear. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Seeing as we now face the pen, penultim, penultimate objective of the right, it would be wise to travel to Mamuk and undertake the feat of the Brotherhood without delay. Wise, yes, but impossible. The Tyenbeck Traverse, which connects the upper forest to the Jatika Heartland, is still impassable. Is there no other route? I'm afraid not. Work to clear the path is underway, though, so I'm hopeful we can resume our journey soon. Then let us each use this time as we see fit. I, for one, would like to explore the village's surrounds, if Arendell would oblige me with the tour. Very well, I have no other engagements. Then I will come with you, if only to prove that I am capable of keeping my footing. <laughs> <laughs> Though I shouldn't rejoice in our delay, it does afford me an opportunity to look into my grandfather's purported visit to Yachtel. Ah, that's right. Mablu did say something about a foreign mage coming through here decades back, didn't she? I'll come with you. Want to join us? Yeah! Let us reconvene here after our respective diversions. As I recall, the merchant met my grandfather at a market in Yachtel some 20 years ago. Any who, any who might reliably remember him must therefore be at least middle-aged. Let us make inquiries where we can. Let's go look for old people! Middle-aged people! <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Aha! Grizzled villager. Perfect! Ah. A foreign mage 20 years ago? Cries an old. <laughs> Yes, I remember him. It's not often we get visitors from across the salt, let alone those traveling with infants. A baby girl, as I recall. I only saw him in passing, mine. If anyone were to know more, I'd wager it would be Hun Muk Ryuk. He, he was already Zagrok, whatever by then. Jesus, I can't say these names. A baby girl, it couldn't have been. Thank you, sir. That information is very helpful. So, Kryle's grandfather is deceased, right? I 
can't remember. I, I can't remember Kryle's lore. I can't remember it all. Um. Is she just wanting to know more about her grandfather? She doesn't know anything about her parents, does she? I'm pretty sure that's what she said. This guy's name is so hard to say. Hello again, do you require assistance? A foreign mage passed through Xbox roughly 20 years ago, possibly carrying a young child. Do you remember him? Why do you ask me this? Who is this man to you? He may have been my grandfather, and I wish to know what brought him here. Your grandfather? Not by blood, but he is family nonetheless. Ooh. We're getting answers. A foreign mage did indeed visit Ikbrok's master Galoo. Oh, that is him! Aha! So far as his identity is concerned, I trust you are satisfied. More than that, however, I cannot say. Why not? I simply cannot. I beg your forgiveness and understanding. Very well, I will not press. What? Thank you for confirming his presence here. The rest I will discover myself. Out of more general curiosity, I have another question. They say the Yakwi once dwelled in these forests. Where was that exactly? General curiosity indeed, but yes, before they withdrew to Urkopacha some five centuries ago, the Yakwi claimed Yachtel as their own. Many of their architectural remains can be found in the lower forest, the Jatika heartland. Then that's where they must have had their visions. Thank you. That answers much and more. I understand what it means to long for one's family, so believe me when I say that. Though my position forbids me from aiding you further, I wish you nothing but success. Odd. By helping the Third Promise find the Golden City, you will surely find the answers to your questions. Okay. Alright. Maybe by telling her, it would give the third promise an unfair advantage. That's probably what that means. Speaking of which, I have a quarry of my own for you. May I request a moment of your company? Sure. Go on, we'll wait for you. <clears throat> Thank you for obliging me. First, let us head to the cenote behind this village. Okay. Whee! Why is he asking me? It was my intention to see you off without saying anything, but Mistress Kryle's plea has softened my resolve. Oh, that's why you asked me. As the leader of our community, I am gladdened to see that the Third Promise has surrounded herself with such compassionate and trustworthy companions. Would you tell me of her journey thus far? Oh, wait. Maybe not. Is that so? It seems the right has been a source of great learning and growth for Wa Clement. It does me well to hear that. My daughter would be about her age. Girls are rarely born amongst the Shabral. So when she arrived, the village was elated. Such joy I felt when first I held her, and pain when I found her at the bottom of a cenote. They're rarely born? Interesting. I wonder why.
Three years old, an accident was said, but I knew better. She had been pushed. By her parents? Though we never caught them, a suspicious figure was seen fleeing towards the Jatika heartland, towards Mamuk. One, once bitter enemies, Mulja and Jabra had learned to live in peace, but who could doubt the intent of such a re a reprehensible act by targeting the child who would one day lead her people? The criminals sought to undermine the future of the Jabra. Who left the party? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who could doubt the intent? The child who would one day lead her people. Wait, she was gonna be a leader of her people? Oh, I was kidding. I'm kidding, Vic. I was kidding. <laughs> I was determined not to let them succeed, and so I let the memory of my daughter die in that cenote and give her into the care of the one person I knew who could protect her. What?! This is her dad? Don Servicalusha Da Bro Wait, he's not gonna tell her? Though she was born to lead this brawl, fate had a greater plan for Wuklamat. What the only the Dawn Servant and I know the truth, and I must now take you into my confidence for one reason. Yeah, I was like, why is he trusting me? If the villain who attempted to murder my daughter was indeed of Mamuk, then rancor towards the Jabral still burns. Oh, that's why he's telling us. To keep her safe. I was caught off guard once. I will not suffer the same tragedy again. Where's his wife? Where's her mom? And so I ask you, not as the Dawn Servant's elector, but as a father, to watch over the Third Promise. Defend her from her enemies that may be lurking in shadow. Will you do this for me? That's her dad! I thought her parents died. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Interesting. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliolo, but a concerned father. They're both the same. Aww. Wow. So she's, already, she's always meant to be a leader of some kind. She was either going to be the leader of her people or the leader, well, we'll see, but the leader of the world. Suffice it to say, this conversation must remain between us. Pray breathe not a word of this to anyone. Okay. Dang. That's why it's called a father's grief. Whoa. The sucking. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Who is that? No, don't tell me that's one of Bakul Jaja's buttholes. Uh, one of many. I want to see the shoes. Oh, not bad. No, they're gonna tell on. Oh. Unless that was a different guy, but we'll see. Taking a stand. Oh boy, what do we have here? Recalling the past has rendered me emotional. I require a moment to compose myself, but please do not keep the third promise waiting. Dang. I'm sure she thinks that too. Oh, that her parents died? Yeah, probably. I didn't get that sense that he was her father at all when he first when, we, when he saw her. Dang. Oh. 
Ooh, what do we have going on here? Upon speaking with Wakumat, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in entirety. All right, are we ready to take on all these cutscenes? Let's do it. Oh wait, I probably can't be in a party. Sorry guys. Okay. Proceed. You're back. So what did Hanmu Rook want? I don't know why I struggle on his name so bad. Oh, secret. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to say. More importantly, the tie in back traverse still isn't clear yet. Something about even more rocks. Then I'll t I'll then I think I'll take the opportunity to rest. All that cooking preparing for it has me has worn me out. A nap does sound tempting. Don't tempt me with saying the N word, okay? Nap. So I'm tired. <laughs> A moment, promise? Uh oh, who is it? <gasps> Who's in the shadows? Who are you? You're one of the cool Jaja's. What do you want? <gasps> no, he's already gonna. No! No, 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 no. I've come to fetch you. You're welcome to refuse, but I know, but know that it would be most unwise. And why is that? I'm sure your salted friend has an idea. What do you think? Uh-oh. Did they, like, kidnap the guy? Her dad? And they say house cats don't come when called. Follow me, promise. This is such a big trap. They're gonna... They're probably gonna steal another keystone. Why are we doing this? No. Oh. The dad should have like invited us to like a private inn room or something. Oh no, why are we here? What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Oh god. What's going on? Oh my god. This is evil. Oh, Rook. Well, that's how you say it. Rook. Bakul Jaja, you snake. If you want my keys done so badly, you'll deal with me and me alone. Leave the elector out of this. <laughs> is that all you think he is? Oh no! Foolish kitty! This man is the reason we are here! Oh god. Take a good look at him! Go on! Look! Surely you recognize your real father! Oh no. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted oh, sister. Oh no! She heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Is it true? Is Homoruk my... Your silence says it all. Now wow. that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. I'll even let you fight for them. Just you and me. Will 
not adventure in attempts to interfere. I'll kill the old man myself! Wow. You despicable, heartless faint. Kinsman or no, I won't stand for you taking hostages. Come on then. You want a fight? I'll give you a fight. Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise. I'm shaking. Guard our hostage well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. Wow. By the by, house cat. They've been instructed to put down Papa dearest when you lose. Hopefully he settled his affairs. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. You just think you think that he can't get more evil and disgusting and then he does stuff like this. Ugh. They need to be careful with what is around him them though. Dang it. This wouldn't have happened if he was being more secretive. It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. <laughs> I know I didn't hear you right. <laughs> <laughs> Cowards don't stand a chance against Wakamat. You should back down before you get hurt. Don't worry, the scary adventure won't try anything funny. <laughs> Darn it, I want to punch them so bad. Cowards don't stand a chance against Wakamat. That's true. <laughs> 1v1 you me, bro. Dare call us cowards? Don't look away, salt. I want you to watch as I tear your beloved promise to shreds. That pissed him off. <laughs> oh. Hey, eyes on me. Oops, I think I actually skipped the part. Get him! I'll say it again. I'm not losing to the likes of you. I'm going to become Don's servant, and I will protect my people. You tell him. So are we playing as her? Ooh, in this battle, you play as Wakuma. Through skillful combat, Welcome will gain the resolve she needs to unleash powerful limit breaks. What is this? I've only played a healer. Not only do these attacks deal great damage, they will recover HP. Use them early and often to emerge victorious. Uh, okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> cool. What are the skills that I'm gonna get? Is she a warrior? Time to learn speed tanking. Uh, here, do this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then maybe that, and oh yeah, and then this one, and then that one. Oh god, I need a heal. What's my heal? Okay. What about this one? Oh. Oh, lethal swipe. Oh god, I need to dodge that. Okay. Whoa, I don't tank. I don't know what I'm doing. How do My I heal? Magic should be more than enough for Miss Mittens. Miss Mittens. How do you heal? I need a I don't can I do I have time to read? Ow. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Wait, this? Does that heal me? No oh, kinda. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yes, <laughs> and now. I don't. I, uh, 
still playing the part of the brave warrior. <laughs> Do I have any potions? Uh, how about that? Okay. Uh, I gained strength and resolve. Strength from I died. <laughs> Let's just do very easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I don't play I don't play tanky. I don't play any class other than scholar, so I don't know what I'm doing. And they didn't give me time to read. You basically have to use all your heals effectively. Well, I'm on very easy, so effectively my butt. I'm gonna spam. Evan had to coach you. Come to Mangy House Cut, so I can rip you to pieces. Combo bonus. So, is it just doing this in order gives you HP? I'll cut you to shreds! Like that? I'm gonna die again. And I'm on very easy. <laughs> okay. My magic should be more than enough for Miss Needles. That kinda gives experience, but not or not experience, I'll HP. Make you eat Leave me alone. Oh, No more tricks, Bakul Chaja. We're selling this here and now. Does this give me HP too? Still oh. playing the part of the brain. Ah, warrior. run away! Ah! Oh no. Okay. And then this seems like I just rushed to him. What does this do? Oh, that's a ranged attack. How do I dodge that? Okay, here. How about here? Yeah. Perfect. This Mithras is no longer amusing me, brother. Oh! I can limit break? Right oh, look it! So much. Limit break! About my nation, my people, and myself. Get him! What does the green one do? Does the green one heal me? I have a feeling that's not the case, but uh Oh! Oh! Can't keep up. Oh, okay. Okay. They were they were safe. <laughs> to do. 
Yeah, that's what you do. What does it mean when it says you've gotten resolved? Okay, actually, I'm gonna stand here. Know your place. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. There you go. Yeah! Not enough to claim the title of Dawn's servant. I kind of played Paladin. I made an attempt. Legacy. His love for our people. <laughs> Should be clear with that. Why won't you die? Did my thing not land? Oh. The true power of the blessed. Oh no! Ah no 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 no! I hate these. Oh wait, no, it's fine. I will be the next dog <laughs> servant, and I'll protect my people's happiness to the last. Girl! Wow! That's why there's no I'm doing way. that. That's impressive! What? What? That was everything I had. Heck yeah! Weakling! I can't stand it anymore. Oh I no! Can't. What? Are you kidding me? This is cheap! Oh, I'm gonna go away. Ah. This is our fight! Stay out of it! Yeah, stay Give out of it. Yeah, what? Yeah, you feel the truth. Oh. This is for Mamu. Uh. We cannot lose. Uh. This is for Mamu. We uh -huh. cannot lose. The great Bakunjaja needs help, I see. Send your whole <laughs> army. You still won't win. Oh god. Oh my god. I will prove that my allies are right to believe in me. Such <laughs> confidence. Changed. She wasn't like this before. Focusing on that, yeah. There we go. Whack, whack a mole. Oh, here we go. Wait. Okay, they're dead. Oh, okay. Oh, dang! I could have killed them with a limit break. <laughs> so that's what it's like being a tank. Ugh. I'll stick to healing, but that was fun. <laughs> that was <not> very easy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know what that's like on normal. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> she got her blue one back. I'll be taking this back. Look at her face. She's so confident now. <laughs> Look at me just watching. You stole. No. No. How could this be? How could that puny house cut beat all of us? You've caused nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening me, Hanu Hanu. Releasing Bari Armanda. Harassing me is one thing, but you've endangered too many innocents. For real. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. Dang. Love it. Love to see it. Uh-oh. What's going on? 
What's that? What's that sound? Oh. What was that? And he goes and forgets he had the way blocked. He's doing Ugh. the only part left in the saga is the lay of the brotherhood in Mamuk. The plan was to force you here so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But uh should you be telling us this? Right? <laughs> <sighs> what does it matter? You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. Yeah, as you should. Uh, this is going to be an interesting conversation. I'm sorry. I was careless. Are you all right? So that's her dad. And now she knows it. So what Bakul Jaja said about you and me. Hi. Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. Oh, he's denying it. It has been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Aww. Promise. Yes. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm Gulul Jaja's daughter, and Tuli Hyolal's next dawn servant. Uh, emotion. That's so sad. That's depressing. Let's rejoin the others. <laughs> uh. to take one okay this is me being a little spicy but it only had to take like one attempt on her life I guess to be enough to say for Galul Jaja to take her I guess I don't know I wonder if we're gonna learn more anyway sorry thanks for the tanking tips I sorry Todd <laughs> I didn't realize it would give me time to read the skills I probably would have done a lot better if I knew. I thought I was like under a timer and he was gonna attack me right away. <sighs> but good to know. Two is AOE. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> and how do you get heals? Is that the actual skills you use as a warrior? Just spam one and use her limit break whenever it pops. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that's what I did. Kylie's a pro tank now. Tanking all the dungeons going forward. Yeah. Yeah, so what's funny is you can see... My paladin is the highest level... Of... Well, pretty much anything. <laughs> Except Sage, I guess. Um, Summoner doesn't count. Um, so yeah, I actually did try to learn Paladin, and I got it to level 72, so. 
Um, you can see there was an attempt, <laughs> but that's... But Paladin plays so much differently than a warrior. Kinda. You know. Time to level a tank now that you're pro. It gets more depressing. <laughs> you have more self-heal stuff. Wait, what What do you mean? For like the story or the, the skills? I see those three. <laughs> Three levels of Dark Knight. Yeah, I got Dark Knight to level 33. I forgot why I was doing that. I think I was told like the story of Dark Knight was really good and I wanted to know. So I also made an attempt, but then I was like, ugh, this is taking too long, so I stopped. Um, yeah. Oh, the skills, nothing will save you from the story. Did that not make y'all sad? The fact that he didn't, he didn't admit to being her father. Like how tough that must be. <laughs> like she's not dumb though, she knows, but she, but she also knows that, you know, Galul Jaja is also her dad too, but ugh. I don't know why that hit me in the field so hard. <laughs> I blame the music. Seems we are last to return. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Thank you for having faith in me, keeping out of the fight even when it got dirty. Couldn't have been easy for you, but Bakul Jaja won't be the last person to threaten those I care about. Also, yeah, freaking screw you, Bakul Jaja. You're, you're done. Though it was really weird, we saw the flashback of all of those urns or pots broken. Those were pots broken, right? And then he ran away like a the crying baby he is. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to prove myself that I can stand up to such villains even when I stand alone. Which isn't to say I won't ask for your help when I need it, of course. I know better than that now. The music in this game is what gets me half the time. Is good. <laughs> Makes you feel things you didn't know were inside you. Oh, here we go. Earlier in the second Promises camp. What's he doing? What's he doing? Is he gonna reflect the on... The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. Never mind. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. Right, yes. One second, Dak. Oh, and eat. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibil? <laughs> so thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. But there is an ignorance. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that Father forged during his journey across Tural. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations that I fail to understand my own people. He is learning! This is cute. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy Dawn servant? To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage. 
That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. Well, that's nice. Understanding begets fellowship, as my father said. And yet, what you suggest does not come naturally to me. I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own, painful in their familiarity. Yet frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense, and simply be. Dispense with pretense! I like that. And simply Do be. Do you remember when you first approached us, and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlian for your country. And in doing so, repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this, and in time, they'll come to support you as we do. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. He's like his sister in that way. They're both pretty stoic. Never admitting weakness. Very well then. I will make a greater effort to be myself. This is slightly different though. By not being my usual self so much. You know, if Kona wasn't here... What am I trying to say? Basically, Kona is is slowly measuring up to being a really a character I really, really, really like so far. I kind of well, I mean, he's also a Kote like Graha. <laughs> he's just a green version. Arianje, speaking isn't your issue; it's word choice when you speak. <laughs> yeah, right, Arianje. Also, Dag, thank you for the tier two and the one, one, one. One, 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 one. A little loud. Thank you so much, Dak. Pot's broken. Sounds like someone often dressed in green was there. <laughs> it was. It was green. Er, green. It was lots of pots being broken. At least I think it was. It only showed it for a split second. Anyways, into the traverse. Head piece. Yeah, for real though, Rianjay. It's not... <laughs> it's how you were speaking to everybody. <clears throat> but everybody, see everybody just seems to understand Rianjay. Right? <laughs> oh, what is that? Dark! Thanks for converting your Prime sub to a tier 1 sub. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. How's y'all's Mondays going? Are y'all Are y'all good? Are y'all hyped up? I have coffee now in my system. But usually I get a little sleepy around this time, but coffee! Anyways, let's keep going. So what's the state of the Tyenbeck Traverse? Still being cleared, I assume. Hanmu Rook said he would notify us as soon as work was done. Then perhaps now would be a good time to consider how we might reclaim Wook Lamette's stolen keystone. <gasps> the next feat will be our last after all. <gasps> Cryo, I have good news for you. Oh, I already got it back. <laughs> what? what? When? Not to mention how. This is Bakul Jaja we're talking about. Oh, I just whopped him silly with my amazing tank skills. Yeah. And sent him running with his tail between his legs. So I taught him the lesson and took my keystone back. That too. 
You bested the cool judge on single combat? Bravo! Hee <laughs> what can I say? I've got good friends to encourage and cheer me on. There you are! Our excavators have contacted me with news of their success. The Tai of Traverse is now safe for travel. So it wasn't because of the storm, it was because of Bul Jaja, right? That's he blocked the, the thing? Or whatever. <clears throat> Where's my water? Oh, it's over there. <sighs> I know, right? Coffee is so good when, when you're feeling a little sleepy, like me. Need a little boost. Tardy little sleepy, I've been working since 6 a.m. Oh, heck, so early. I have been meaning to update sub, was busy moving and got injured at work, but everything is all good. I'm back to work and moved into the new place. Well, good. I'm glad everything's good now. I'm sorry you got injured. But you're feeling good. Everything's good with your health. And you're back to work in a new place. That's nice. How's your new place going, Dark? All right, we can go back to Mamook. Okay, come to think of it, isn't Babool... Bakul Jaja's home, we can only hope its residents don't share its winning personality, his winning personality. If it is indeed the city where Ketan Ram first met the Dawn Servant, surely some civility, civility awaits us. Civility? Civility, Kylie. I need my water. Um, this Ket Ketaram person is so shrouded in mystery, but we've seen him in cutscenes, right? He's that, he's that, like, seafaring looking Aorzean Rogaiden? I think he's a Rogaiden. Is that also how you say Rogaiden? <laughs> Anyways, let's hope so. I would not be so certain. It is true that the Dawn Servant received Ketan Ram in Mamuk and was instrumental in the establishment of friendly relations between the Jabral and Mamulja. Okay, but since that time, most of the Mamulja who supported his peace have left their city in favor of abiding in the capital. Oh, so it's not going to be a very welcome place, probably. What remains is the cloister of Mamuk. And while these tradition traditionalists do not take up arms against us, neither do they bear great love for outsiders. Fantastic. This is probably going to be the hardest keystone to get. Whatever they're like, the people of Mamuk are also of Tuliolo. If I'm to be Dawn Servant, it's my job to know them first of all. Well, we'll be on our way then. I'm glad I could learn about where I came from and eat so much Ibruk Pabil besides. Thank you for everything, Hanmu Ryok. Till next time, take care. Hmm. First, we make our way across. Sprit Cinderfield due southeast. Okay. I like the new place a lot. It's like the cut it's like the country Texas living feeling. Ooh! Like country Texas I wonder if it's the same thing I'm thinking of. How you have grown indeed. Ah uh, don't do that to me. Stop it. Do you have like a really big like you have a lot of land? Do you have a ranch? Do you have horses? Ah. Uh, I wish. <laughs> Sorry, when I hear country, I I'm thinking like country like that's the only way I see Texas, I guess, is just having, like, huge land to mow. Maybe not mow, but, you know, and, like, cattle, goats and chickens and horses and... 
I think I think that way because I have family and friends that have that and they're out in the country. <laughs> um, what? I have to go that way? All right, here we go. Making our way. Making our way downtown. I forgot the lyrics. I'll just follow the road, I guess. So huge land to moo. No, mo. <laughs> There's an area nearby that have like seven longhorns just chilling on their land. Seven longhorns and all, obviously all other cows, female cows. Bullets, as they say. <laughs> Um, uh, can I cut through or should I, I'm just gonna follow the road so I can talk to you guys a lot easier. It's like really nice apartments in the country away from the city. That's unique. But I'm happy you like it. Ah. I don't know the tune yet. <gasps> He's a current! <laughs> Very impressionable animals. <laughs> Y'all have to sing with me when I do it. Yeah, Rhea knows it. It's not doing it. Oh, I love this part though. It gives you the tune. Oh. <laughs> I still don't know the tune. Squirrel, thank you for the 30 months! <laughs> Jai. Close. That's a deep hole. But for real, how do you get out of the hole if you fall in the hole? Like, how do you get out? But for real, <laughs> or can you can you even fall? Can you fall? I'm not gonna attempt that. But I am very curious. Is there like an underground area that, to explore? Like Tears of the Kingdom? Don't ask me why my voice got deep there. <laughs> I don't want to test it! Teleport out? I broke! I broke! <laughs> Have you seen that puzzle game you play with your voice, Kylie? Uh, puzzle game you play with your voice? I don't think I have. It doesn't sound familiar. One hand clapping? Do you... Wait, what? Do you... Cl what? Do you clap? To play? This sounds interesting. Is it new? You turn on the mic and sing to solve puzzles? Oh god, I don't think y'all want to... I don't think y'all want to experience that. I do not have a good singing voice. <laughs> as you can hear. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's funny though. The Traverse will bring us straight into the Jatika heartland. Remember how you insisted this forest is green? What? I did? I want to see the the Pandora like area. Is that where we're heading? 
La hi. <laughs> You know, I actually, when I was younger, I was obsessed with watching, um, ooh, blue. I was obsessed with watching Phantom of the Opera when I was younger, and it made me want to be an opera singer. <laughs> Obviously, that went nowhere, but, um, that would have been cool to take, like, opera singing lessons. I would have loved that. This path is quite steep, isn't it? Let us take our time and descend safely. Is it Steve? <laughs> Made it! <laughs> I spoke with one of the excavators on my way down. Apparently, Bakula Jaja cleared away the one fallen tree remaining by barreling through it. That Wuklamat single-handedly defeated someone possessed of such physical might is nothing short of rem remarkable. Still, we ought to proceed with caution. There's no telling what his wounded pride might compel him to attempt. Very true. Very true. Ooh. Ooh, dark cave. Ooh, dark cave. Ew. Ew. Stalagmites. Stalagmites. I think. Ooh, the music changed. <laughs> Thanks, Blue. <laughs> Wait, do we talk? What? What are, what are you doing here? Ariel said the said this traverse was dug to facilitate incursions into the forest above. Intentions notwithstanding, you have to admire the dedication. No, the music's still the same. We go mining there later or something for miners. Oh. <gasps> this is where the Mamoja live, and they don't want to live here. live here? I mean, to be fair, it was because of the crops, but still, this is breathtaking. This is so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. Anyways. Alluring, isn't it? In more ways than one, take my paring stone and hold it close to the glowing rock. Oops. What did I just do? In more way, oh, I just reset it. <laughs> the glowing rock? What does this do? Pairing, what is a pairing rock? A tool used by gleaners to identify certain geological properties. Oh. As you hold the pairing stone in the soft glow, it affixes itself to the boulder with surprising force. Pairing stones are natural magnets, and that's a meteorite filled with iron. One of many remnants of an ancient meteor shower. Aliens. The heterogeneous, heterogeneous ether they emit causes surrounding flora to glow unique hues, as you can see. Oh. What the heck? So these glowing boulders came plummeting down from the heavens. The draw be merciful. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Right 
cryo my reactions exactly <gasps> see what are these things floating in the air are those fairies what are those those are fireflies but what's this thing blue it's all blue a far cry from the upper forest indeed this place is already so fascinating. I'm eager to hear what the people of Mamuk can tell us about it. Keep running. We're almost there. We are almost there. Oh, Will-O-Wisp, probably. Love this era of the music. Does the music change? Is this the new music? Wow, look at it. <gasps> no, it's the same. La la. Oh, there's another meteorite down there. I like these crystals. I like all of these little leaves on the trees and the flowers. Oh, I like this. I like blue and purple hues. Gives me Pandora vibes. Yeah, I was saying that when I first saw it. When they first like showed this area, I was like, Avatar, but I meant to say Pandora, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's it's like this because of the dense trees. I think that's what they said, right? This this vibe though fits this area perfectly. Okay, I uh I'm gonna I'm gonna attune first. Cool. Didn't they say the architecture from the Yaqui are still here too? So this is probably the architecture they're talking about? Maybe? Lucky? I really need to get back into 14. Join us! There's a lot of people in the chat right now that are either new to Final Fantasy 14, are in the middle of it, or are, well, finished, I guess, <laughs> with Dawn Trail. And are like me, playing, playing Dawn Trail still. As this is also my first time visiting Mamuk, I have no experience interacting with the locals, but given Hunmu Ryuk's parting words, I would advise a cautionary approach. I, yes. New hat! New, oh, I also had hand gear. Okay, let me get both of these. Right, hand gear. <gasps> a feather! And something I can't really tell what that is. But nice. Oh, it's like a little. Cool. Wait, I like that. I like my little feather. Um, but it doesn't match, but look cute. Do y'all usually wear your glamour throughout the game like me? Or do you purposely change your glamour to match with what they give you when you're playing? I feel like my outfit kind of doesn't fit in some areas in some regions, so it kind of breaks the immersion. But I also like this outfit. I'm way behind. Last time I played was the quest line before Dawn Trail. I'm level 83. That's fine. There, it's no race. It's it's a marathon. This game is still still going strong, so don't worry about it. I'm not that far ahead from you. Been waiting for friends to catch up. Really? But but I'm still. You're still ahead of me though, right? That's what you said. I'm not that far ahead. Okay, but you're still ahead. <laughs> I chose an outfit and then go with it. Okay. <laughs> I was in pajamas. <laughs> Wait, really? Gotta look stylish. Well, technically this outfit, I wasn't even trying. Like I just needed, so when I was catching, or not catching up, when I was doing the patches before Dawn Trail, I needed a better outfit because my item level was too low. So I bought this outfit not knowing how cute it was. And I was like, oh my god, I actually love this so much. Like, I love this a lot. <laughs> so I've been just 
wearing it. Like, look how cute. Look at the bows. And, like, the cute flower. And the little beret. I think that's kind of like a beret. And this little, like, purse here. It's just so cute. And look at the shoes. I don't know. I was so surprised when I saw this. I was like, I had no idea this existed. <laughs> but anyways. Hi, Gift World. How are you? I'm using the level 97-ish set without glamour because it looks nice. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Also, what level is this quest? 94. Okay, we're still good. My ninja gear is stylish black with white accents. Now it has a bit of purple in it. I love that. The 97 set is goaded. You love the caster gear? Am I considered... Is that the same as the gear that I'm gonna get? I guess so. I'm a caster. I cast healing spells. Um... Okay, let's continue. <laughs> the tank gear is cool too. I'm just missing a chest so I haven't used it. Is this like the 97 set from a dungeon? Or is this like the coffer that they give you? Yeah, it's so nice. You get it from MSQ. <gasps> Oh. Oh, it's from the dungeon? Wait, I'm confused. The dungeon 2. Oh! Ooh, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Don't put it on near me, though. And if you did, well, I don't know. I don't know what it is, so just... But don't put it on me. Or put it on around me. Healers, casters usually get the same designs of different base colors. Spoiler alert! <laughs> Each run of the dungeon guarantees a piece too, so you can farm the glam. Am I close? Wait, 97. No, I'm not close. I'm 94. <laughs> Darn it! City of Silence. Finally, I'm a mook. Well, Clumat is eager to make progress. Alright. <laughs> Well, we all know what comes next. Let's find that Electa. Two streets seem to converge on, upon this plaza, so I propose we split our numbers between them. Given Hunmu's Ryok's guidance, I also suggest, suggest we err on the side of caution and move throughout the city in pairs. Aaronville can come with me and Alice can go with Cryo. That leaves Miss to accompany Walklamette. If these arrangements are to everyone's satisfaction, then may our respective searches prove fruitful. <sighs> to the fruit! You got a few zones to get through first? <sighs> well, at least I have this area now. To get aether currents and to fate grind. Who's gonna fate grind with me tonight? Except Todd. Todd's already done. Vic, are you done? <gasps> Look how cute that cat is. Ah! Okay. Alright. Um, let's, uh... Where? This way? The road? There's roads? Binja. This way. Look at this crystal! I would eat it. Looks like rock candy. Lick it. Oh, are these their houses? Oh, pretty empty. I need some furniture. I gotta pick up something else to level because I'm already level 100 and there's so many quests to do still. You know, that's wise. Like, look at me. I'm level 99. This never happens, though. <laughs> but uh, what else am I going to level? And I can't level anything. Or actually, I don't... Yeah, I can't. I don't I have nothing else that's level 94. So never mind. But still. I really wish the gear was all classes because I want some of the other pieces so bad. Oh, but like the pieces you like are for different classes, Rhea? Is that what you mean? You've been done? Oh. You might join? <laughs> you have three zones left? Is this one of them? <laughs> I 
Uh, I received a reward. Yeah, so there's like these drops things that are happening on Twitch when you watch uh, a streamer that is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. You get like three different items. Um, but they're only items for in the game of Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, it's a merchant. What do you sell? Oh, he did it. All right. <laughs> He doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> okay. Fine. I want to talk to you either. What is she doing? You can still hear me, right? And see me? Oh. It is quiet. I guess. They did say si City of Silence. Yeah, you're right. They're not... Wait, is City of Silence because he's not talking to me? Oh, okay. Interesting. You don't play any other healers? They give you a code to redeem at the Mog Station. Exactly. Thank you, Specky. I wanted a nice badge like the helmet. Oh no, there don't, I don't think any of the, no, none of the rewards are the badge. It's just like food, aetherite tickets, which are used for teleportation, and then you can get this mount, the chocopur. It's so cute, look at it. And this is how it looks like when, <laughs> when you move. Belligerent Bunewa. Oh, your words may as well be ambient noise for all the care this citizen pays you? Wow! Alright, there's clearly something we don't know. Oh, okay. As you begin to speak, the man abruptly turns and leaves. Well, ah, never! Okay. Well, let's go back and tell Wuklamat. That's why she said, can you see and hear me? <laughs> Please tell me you've had better luck. Not quite. No one will talk to you either? I was prepared for hard stares and harsh words, but this is something else. That building there looks like a shop, doesn't it? Let's go and take a look. A merchant wouldn't ignore us, surely. <laughs> uh <laughs> Um I tried talking to this guy earlier. Oh Oh they walked away. I wanted to hear I wanted to see oh Stop following me <laughs> What do you what? Wait wait what the heck? These interactions this is funny I wanted to listen to see what their conversation was about. Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> Stop following them. I just have a few questions. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. We'd like to ask you something if you don't mind nope okay move along outsiders oh he spoke we're, we're just trying to find someone the dawn servants elector could you tell us where they are oh okay and ignored all right all right then all righty Maybe we have to do like a, a, a fancy greeting or something to show like our respect or something. Or maybe it's a piece of clothing or maybe we have to bring them food or something. I don't know. Food seems to solve wars. <sighs> How are we supposed to find the Elector if nobody will even speak with us? Maybe you have to speak with your mind or your facial expressions. Everyone, can you hear me? Come to the massive stone structure on the west side of the city as quickly as you can. Oh. Okay. Let's go! Can you 
Can you imagine talking somebody through just expression? Like you're just like... You know? Just have a full-on conversation with your face. Oh. Maybe that's how they're like. I'm just kidding. They just hate us. What is it? Oh no. Why is he wearing a hat? Bested by a mere shade. Wait, what? He got bested? Don't tell me. Sorocha. Papa? Wait, oh wait, no, wait. Oh my god, that's her. What? What? Not as you know him. What you see is an arcane manifestation oh, of the okay. servant as he was in his prime. I was about to say, I was like, he looks kind of different. <laughs> What? By a shadow. An arcane manifestation. I was about to say, for a second I thought this was Bakul. But it's a shadow. Or a manifestation. Is that a genie in a bottle? The channeler is Irelcha. Autark of Mamuk. An elector for the feet of the Brotherhood. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting our answers now. So, Zerilja is the Autark of Mamuk, which I guess that's the leader of Mamuk. An elector for the feet of Brotherhood. Is that... Duli Yolar's mightiest warrior. Yet wisest you are not. You who spurned your retainer's shade when battling your betters. Wait, what? This guy is new, right? Sorry, he looks really similar to the guy that follows um the uh first promise. But anyways, this is a real ja. Not to be confused with Sarilja, which I think is the guy that's following the first promise, right? Too many jaws. The jaws is fine. It's. <laughs> I think. He's not Zoral's jaw. Zoralja's guy. He's just the leader of this area. Zarilja. Okay. Tulio's mightiest warrior, yet wisest you are not. Wisest. Who spurned your retainer's aid when battling your betters? Spurned your retainer's aid? To prove oneself superior to blessed siblings by surpassing the shade of Galul Jarjar himself. That is the final feat. Oh, okay. The first right. promise fought alone and fell short, but that is now the least of his concerns. You could have let your foolishness end with your failure. But instead, you attempted to harm an anointed Elector. Wait. Wait, what? He attempted to harm an anointed Elector? He tried to harm him? Soralja. As of this moment, you are no longer a claimant. I disqualify you from the right of succession. What? Be gone from my sight. Whoa, wait, why? Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Oh, he's saying something. Oh, he don't look so good. Oh man, if he had struggles... This isn't over yet. See? I will be the one to reach the Golden City. I will be the one to reach the Golden City. What? But like, look, it's Savrilja. Not to be mistaken with Zev Zevrilja. 
Is that a real dog? Oh, they look similar. This guy is sneaky. The voices are different, though. How is he gonna go to the Golden City? When Zorocha was defeated, he tried to take the Keystone by force. Oh! But he was by Father Shade. Whoa! Okay. Uh oh. What My do we have here? Child. Oh. Welcome home. Oh no. Is he worshipped here? I guess this is his birthplace. Oh no. I feel a little bit of uh, favoritism going on here. This feat was made for you. Only blessed siblings could hope to defeat Gulul Jaja. But ere we begin, I would see the fruits of your triumphs. Come, show me your tablets. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Uh oh. He has two. What is this? Where are your keystones? <laughs> Explain yourself, boy. Oh no. Awkward. No matter. Not all can be expected to go to plan. What keystones you lack, you can easily take. I'd like to see you try again. He's like, I couldn't I, do that either. I tried. But, but, but I couldn't. I cannot beat her. You mean to tell me that you, glory of Mamuk, for whom all here have sacrificed, were defeated by your inferiors? To whom all here have sacrificed? <sighs> you are as useless as your siblings. A failure. Leave and never return! You have no place here! <sighs> Let's go, brother. Worthless! Pathetic! This was our chance to claim sovereignty, and he ruins it! <sighs> but, Dang. when these stragglers fail, Gulul Jaja will be forced to extend his rule. And in the next rite of succession, we will present a better claimant. No wonder he turned out the way he is, especially if this guy, I, I'm assuming is his father? I'm not sure, but maybe something like that. So come, stand maybe not. before me. But still. And fall. I won't do your trial. Oh? You intend to forfeit the right? Papa wants his successor to intimately understand the country he loves. Every step of my journey, I've learned something about our peoples and their cultures. I would do the same here in Mamuk. The Mamulja deserve nothing less so your battle can wait. Dang. <gasps> Look at that. I don't know who that is, but I like that mind. person. Father named you an elector for a reason. There must be something that he would have us learn. 
Maybe how arrogant this guy is? <laughs> Dang! We're just like, later! Hmm. Do as you will. But until you triumph over the shade, you shall proceed no further. So is he the one that's controlling the shade? Or is this person the one controlling the shade? Oh. Is that a feat? Promise. Oh. I would speak with you. Meet me on the western outskirts. Ooh, it's a girl. Is that dignified lady? Ooh. She liked that. My account may have been hacked? I got back into it, but uh, let's see what's going on. Wait, what? Your account got hacked? He is my, he is his dad. The My Dearest Child line was the reveal of it. And they all looked shocked at first because his dad's an elector. Oh, I guess I totally was oblivious to that part. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay. Yeah. So if my dad was like that, well, I mean, I thank God he wasn't, but like, right? Like, no wonder he was a piece of poop. Because his dad's an even bigger piece of poop. Dang. What is this? Sacrifice me. Sacrificial lamb. Last time I logged in the Final Fantasy IV it was March 2022. Is, is there a record of you logging in before then? Your upbringing can influence you a lot, indeed. Or you can turn the opposite, hopefully. But, yeah. Anyways. The electors we have met thus far have all had their peculiarities, but, but each we felt would judge claimants equally. This Zerilja, however, seems set in his belief that only blessed siblings are worthy of the throne. Why would the Dawn Servant name an openly biased man elector? Worrying over Zerilja won't get us anywhere. That lady, on the other hand, was the first person to address us with any civility since we've arrived. We should go and meet her, hear what she has to say. The western outskirts, right? Looking forward to talking to the Mamula. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I am assuming she's a Mamuja. Wee. Bark. Dignified lady. She is a dignified lady. Thank you for coming. My name is Oh Ja. Mila Ja. Here we may talk freely, away from prying eyes. And what was it you wished to talk about? So if that that this must be his mom too then. Maybe. Tell me, what do you think of Mamuk? Well, we don't have much to say yet. No one wants to speak with us. All who remain in this city are devoted to the traditional ways. They believe that blessed siblings are superior, that only they are worthy to lead the peoples of this continent. Most would not deign to address outsiders, deeming them beneath notice. Sounds like an ideal community so far as Bakul Jaja is concerned. For real. I am tired, exhausted by this, this senselessness. Oh. So she must not be the only one. There are others like me, but we dare not speak our truth out loud. Yet now we have an opportunity to reclaim our agency. For you have bested Bakul, Jaja. You, a Jabral inferior by all presumptions, triumphed over our two-headed champion. Inferior by all presumptions. This time, anyway. Next time, I might not be so lucky. But Kool Jaja is just that strong. 
I seriously don't understand why he cheats so much. It seems to me he'd do better if he just trusted his own abilities. He's desperate. Other blessed siblings had fa have fallen before. Mo Mola Mola Jaja of the Silver Scales, for one. He traveled across the salt in search of conquest, only to be overcome. Wait, is that somebody in our past? <laughs> I wouldn't remember. Uh, I'm assuming that's the case. If they traveled to Eorzea. But no matter how the individual may falter, the people will... The people still believe in blessed sibling supremacy. Because of my father. He who united to Rawl under one rule, who in their eyes stands as testament to the tradition's infall infallibility, Regardless of your father's virtuous intent, his greatest triumph has only fanned the flames of our people's obsession. However, as both his daughter and claimant to his legacy, your triumph could prove that Galul Jaja's true strength lies not in his birth, but in his character. And in doing so, you may give us the strength to renounce blessed siblings forever. I can understand wanting to forsake... Zilotri? I feel like I know that. Oh. Fanist. Fan, uh, fanatical and uncom com uncompromising pursuit of religious, political, or other ideals. Zealotry. But in but isn't forsaking two headed Mamulja going a bit far? You must decide that for yourself, whether the price we pay is worth an empty dream. Interesting. be able to finish this but we'll see there what is this one called blessed siblings there is a place that will help you understand our plight it lies far to the west of here follow me you know final fantasy always makes me feel bad for the bad guy sometimes darn it final fantasy always teaching us freaking valuable lessons even if they're poopy heads <laughs> Mola Jaja is the final boss in Wondrous Palace Hard from A Realm Reborn. Uh, is it? Ooh, it's so purple. Um, yeah, there's no way I would have remembered that. But thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. Cenote Jeunja. Oh, <gasps> pretty. In the water. There are meteor. Man, there's meteorites everywhere. <laughs> Look, it's stuck in the tree. <laughs> Maybe the tree grew with it. Is that a meteorite up, th meteorite up there? Aye, and judging by their attachment, that tree must benefit from the meteorite's unique ether. Oh. Anyway, we should press on. Milal. Ja was anxious for us to see whatever it is she has to show us. I had to Google it because I had no clue. Uh, Realm Reborn was a long time ago. And unless you're doing duty roulettes, the chances of you getting Wondrous Pal or doing Wondrous Palace Heart is rare. I don't remember the last- BUTTERFLIES! I don't remember the last time I did Wondrous Palace hard. Unless... Can Wondrous Palace be... A Wondrous Tales? Hmm. Look at the butterflies! Look at the butterflies! A hunting camp? Like as not. 
I'd love to talk to Mamulja hunters and learn about their ways, except they'd probably ignore me. The others have continued on. Let's catch up to them. Yo, Masalja! How are you doing, bro? Wait, will he not talk to me? Yep. <laughs> okay. Moving on. The Cerulean Sexudros. Pretty. With all the butterflies. Love it. Perfect. I know I still haven't been to my little fairy area. Wow. To see the change in graphics there. I have not seen it yet. What we got here. This is the place you wanted to show us? It lies just beyond this passage. Entry to the grounds is not permitted even to the devout. Nonetheless, I would reveal our secrets to you. Rest assured I shall take full responsibility. Come, see for yourself the truth of the blessed. Ooh. Yo, hi Trag, how are you? Ooh, a secret, secret. It's a tree. It's green. Green tree. Green bush. Green and blue. No, it's a cave. That's a big cave. Wow. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked down. <laughs> That's a pretty big cenote. Yonder. That is our destination. Oh, we're not there yet. Stone Pier? Where? Oh, okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Good. To erect it there would have been no small feat. For real. The work of Yakui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Oh. Altered? To what end? It will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below. second job so I can finish MSQ. Where are you in MSQ? Oh my god, did it really, Rhea? <laughs> these things are cool. What are these called? Oh. <gasps> cool Jaja is here. A cool Jaja? What? Could it wait? To laugh at the failure. You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Mother. What is his mom? His mom is so gentle. The third promise seeks to learn about Mamuk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. Listen. As we are. Aww. I 
his mom so nice? What is he doing? Here. What? Oh, remember we saw all of these pots broken? This vessel holds the remains of a two-headed babunja. An infant. Oh. converted the ruins into a cenotaph so the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits souls how many do you know how blessed siblings are made well when i won't make that joke okay i've heard that they are born to Hubigo and Bunewa parents. I was gonna say when a Hubigo loves a Bunewa. <laughs> okay, never mind. <clears throat> Serious moment. Such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting. The war against the Shebran was going poorly, and we needed to be united. Right, we did learn that. It is, isn't it, Justin? Hi, Broski. Then, one day, a child was born. One blessed with two heads and tremendous power. When this child grew old enough to lead our army, we became unstoppable. The Shebral had no answer. And we drove them all the way back to the trees above. That taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost. Of the countless born, most die. In their shells. shells. Only one in a hundred survive. Oh my god. If we are blessed, it is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. Oh. That's horrible. For real, oh my god. Of course it's horrible. It's an atrocity we can never take back. Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing. Nothing. But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. Use them as an excuse. Oh my god. Um <laughs> uh, I sympathize with your pain. I don't like either of these, but but I'll do the first one. Sassy Lol fell. I mean it's true. But still, like knowing his dad. I should never have been born. Ooh. Ooh. You're wrong. You didn't ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. 
The people obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! Madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Taral. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. Take me with you. Those fanatics treat my words as gospel. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshutural Zush. There we will gather the people and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Oh, is this a location? Okay. Oh, that's some heavy stuff. Do you think that the... Well, that's why they showed all of the bases. Um... Are they all his brothers and sisters? I guess... I guess that's... I guess that is, that is the case, right? So this poor mom, I'm assuming, had to give birth to so many children that ended up dying until, like, her actual son was born, right? Like, oh my god. They didn't say that. I don't know if they're going to say that, but that's, that's heavy. Hi, Ben. <clears throat> You're fine. Hello. Because <clears throat> I was wondering, I was like, are these kids, like, everybody in, like, the settlement's children? I was like, he's so attached. I mean, it's sad it, no matter what, but it makes a lot of sense if it's his brothers and sisters. And, like, they did say that. Or they did say that when they were showing the fighting. A lot of egg laying. Yeah. I guess, yeah, because they said shells, right? Yeah. <laughs> then take one of my scales. One that blends the Hubiko and Bunewa coloring. It'll serve as proof that you have our trust. People oh. will do as you say if you show it to them. Oh, okay. Ow. It must be so heartbreaking for the mom. The dad seems like a poopy head. He probably didn't care. That's just his personality, though. Yeah, that did sound painful, I'm didn't sorry it? I'm <laughs> for what I've said and done. I don't expect your forgiveness. <laughs> Stop! Stop! That's so sad. <laughs> I hated him. <laughs> I don't hate him anymore. I'm glad I could know them. Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Which is to say, you're not a complete alpaca's ass. <laughs> Whoa, it's weird hearing them talk at the same well, time. <laughs> maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. 
True that. True that. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamook. We have much to discover. He was such a butthole. It is a big twist. Uh, his dad said everyone here had sacrificed for him, so others in the tribe probably tried as well to produce a two-head. Yeah. They do know how to do a good twist. <laughs> they do. You might say they are in sync. Stop it, Maz! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop it. Hey, Miss, before we join the others, can we talk for a moment? I really hated him, you know, but cool, Jaja, with every fiber of my being. I mean, like, did you see what he was got? Like, he released Vidral, but not Vidral, uh, whatever, the bird, the snake bird. Valley Garmonda, there we go. Sorry, for a second I was like, what? And then uh, he also freaking revealed her real father. That was such a poop mode. But, so you had every right, but still, yeah. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> he tried to ruin Ihihana, sabotage us on the river, kidnapped me for my keystone, and released the most vicious Tural Vidral of all time. Although he could do to cause, anything he could do to cause us pain, he did. Never in a million years would I forgive him. But the moment I understood why he did what he did, the pain he's been carrying this whole time, all my anger just evaporated. Does his pain justify his actions in your eyes? Of course not. That's a dumb question. I hear you. But cool Jaja's motives don't absolve him of his crimes. He must answer for them like anyone else. But right now, my duty is to ensure that no one in Mamook feels desperate enough to go to such lengths ever again. Anyway, thanks for listening. Now that I've voiced that, I feel readier for the challenges ahead. Come on, let's head back to the city. Ugh. I love this music. The land where they live is brutal. Yeah, I remember they're saying like the, it's obviously doesn't get a lot of sunlight and the crop struggle here. They still make, make do though. But, I mean, there's probably ways to make it better for, for them too though. But day, <laughs> And I thought the, the dad part was sad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing compared to this. Jeez. Have to wait for a fix for the payment issues. 14 is having, I can't add my payment. Apparently it's been an issue since Dawn Trail's been out. Yeah, there's something, I can't remember, but they did change something with payment. Um... What are you trying to use, Dark? Because I think they don't accept, was it Visa or something anymore? I can't remember. But you can, I think you can buy a time card off Amazon though. Yeah, that's a new thing. The Visa thing. Um, yeah, it's weird, right? I forgot, I forgot their reasoning behind that. Okay, let me finish this quest. Cool Jaja's scale represents his faith in us. We won't fail him or his people. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pause here in Final Fantasy 14 because it's past four o'clock. I usually end at four. That was so good though. Ooh, ooh, and we're only level 90. F Is this 94? And we're only level 94, we have so much story to get through. <laughs>